Let's get a little weird Let's get a little loud Those sounds you like to hear We got it going on It's the Oddcast It's the Oddcast It's the Oddcast It's the Oddcast Hello, hello, hello How is everyone doing today, tonight, this morning? Shouts out to you wherever you are, to you and yours. Thank you for tuning in to the Oddcast, where stuff that's odd gets the nod. Tonight we have a very, very special guest, my main man, Daniel Wesley, the president of the Connoisseur Club. Uh, Dan, how you doing tonight? Doing great. Glad to be here, man. Glad to finally get uh, get in the hot seat over here. Exactly. That is the hottest seat <laughs> in podcasting today, folks. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yo, so... Um, Let's, you know, let's basically break it down to what we're going to be doing tonight. I just want to let everyone know it's the Halloween episode, as you heard from the intro. We're going to keep it spooky. We we're got going the to hats. Keep it... Exactly. <laughs> we got the hats. We came in costume. We're going to take these off now. Thanks. You know, cheers to the hats. Hat cheers. <laughs> cheers to you. So, tonight we're going to be talking. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> tonight it's the Halloween episode. All right, it's, we're filming this on the 31st. It's gonna come out on the 1st of November. So we're gonna talk the history of Halloween. We're gonna talk about the uh, some local places in San Diego that have actual haunting lore. Um, we're gonna talk some Halloween stories from our past, you know, whether it's looting candy or pranking people. Um, and then we're gonna give you some spooky shows that aren't necessarily traditional Halloween shows. Um, then we're gonna talk about clowns creeping, the 2016 phenomenon of clowns creeping. Uh, wasn't a good look, people. Um, then we're gonna finish it off with candy, you know, just a total breakdown of candy. And we're gonna talk about it's stout season, folks. You know, double IPAs, as you were saying earlier. Oh yeah, doubles and anything high gravity. Yep. Exactly. Uh, but you know, we're gonna talk stout season, and then we're gonna finish it off with a little review of an album that, you know, I think that you guys may like, even if you're not rap fans, it's a great rap album, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, let's basically break it down, let's, uh, you know, let's start it off with, uh, I believe you you brought a, a stout to drink on. Oh tonight. yeah, right here, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, what do we got here? It's the uh, Fremont Dark Star uh, Imperial Oatmeal Stout Aged in Bourbon Barrels, uh, limited 2018 release. So this, uh, yeah. It was aged in the bourbon barrels, which is going to give it that nice uh, kind of like oatmeal, that that kind of creamy feel, that creamy mouth feel. And that's an oatmeal stout. Oh yeah, sorry, that's what the oatmeal is going to do. And then the bourbon barrel age is kind of give it a little bit of that boozy character that you know that Oof. your normal, your average beer is that you're not going to get. It's like a whiskey taste, you know. Jeez. And so who, it's, it's pretty who is cool. that from? Uh, Fremont. And I'm not actually super. For, I, I mean, I know the name, but I'm not extremely familiar with them. I don't. I know they're not uh, from California. I don't think. Yeah, Seattle. Seattle, right awesome. on the side. Yeah. It was got to check the bottles. That's a, that's a good, uh, well, good here, way to cheat. Here's a yo. Here, let me Appreciate hand you over the glasses, and uh, you know, I'll just, I'll just, you know, start, uh, you know, breaking it down a little bit on the first subject. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, yo, I can't believe I forgot. Oh, you're all good. Um, so, this has a wax top, by the way, which is kind of interesting. Pretty cool. It keeps the beer a little fresher. Wow. <clears throat> yeah, it's something that uh, you see in stouts, but in uh, sour beers, but you don't generally see it uh, elsewhere, which is pretty cool. Yes, I mean that's that's interesting. I mean, when we break down stouts, uh, that's oatmeal stout is definitely on our list of yeah. you know something we're going to talk a little bit about. Yeah, definitely. So that's that's cool. I really like uh, you know like it's almost like the mealiness of the oatmeal in it. It's, it's exactly it gives it that creamy mouthfeel. That's how everyone always say you know. Oh man, uh, look at describes this. Describes it. This looks absolutely delicious. Yeah, very dark. So the history of Halloween, right? I mean, we learned basically it's it's this odd kind of pagan uh, pagan holiday. Yeah, kind of like an October festy type. Uh, Cheers. Let's let's try this out. I know it's fitting that we're drinking the the grains. <laughs> wow, that is absolutely incredible. So that's very nice. That's a dessert beer right there. Oh yeah, very chocolate forward as well. Yeah, exactly. So it's it, it was a thing called Sowen, I believe, was the 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 original ritual. It was a pagan holiday, but 
as you were saying, it was the changing of the season. Yeah, it's the, the, the end, end of, of summer. summer is what the other yeah, exactly. And, and I think mm. it had something to do with the harvest in a certain way. Yeah, yeah. But also, you were saying that it was uh, the thin, the the thinnest the metaphysical line was almost between the living and the dead. Yeah, that's what they're saying. Uh, I mean, in the, it seems to be if you're spiritual and all the different you know realms of like religion and, and spirituality, <laughs> people. So somehow equate this time of year with the the barrier being you know thin between the if you believe in that kind of stuff which I'm not necessarily a, a, a supernatural guy but it seems to be a lot of different people from all over the world are in agreement on that so I think you know anytime that happens it's 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 interesting and I'm not saying that it's uh it's where there's smoke there's fire but it's it's just interesting <laughs> to look at well there is, that is true I mean I'm not saying it's true it's I would, just, no yeah. no just just to totally I mean relate that I think I mean I I'm I was I was bar mitzvahed. I'm not really a practicing yeah. religious Jew, but you know I I respect anyone's you know right to their religion totally. And exactly, I, think, I didn't hear too much about what they said in in terms of uh, yeah Yom Kippur. Yeah. I believe is some it, it's not really seen as like communicating to the mm -hmm. dead via like um, mediums or, or, or such. Yeah, kind of like they do in Mexico. Yeah, like exactly. And, you know. it, it's 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 more so like praying to uh, descendants or yeah, yeah descend or no. Uh, Ancestors. 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 Yeah. Jeez. That's the funny. Opposite. So, so it's actually it's a it's a lot like Mexico, but they don't really take it to that spooky skeleton. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Yeah. Which I mean, that I think that's cool within itself yeah, too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so you know, the history of Halloween. Also, the one thing that I think when we were both discussing this, looking it up, was like it's also the cool and spooky part about it in itself is uh -huh. it's shrouded in mystery. Yeah. I mean. It, even when exactly. it came to you know the only thing that's really seemed to be explained was the origin of jack-o-lanterns yeah which is yeah that was it the that guy jack and he was i, <laughs> he was, I don't remember much more than that he's a jerk yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> jack was not a good yeah. guy and I mean, you yeah you people would carve uh faces into their pumpkins and and whatnot like they said beets i think in uh certain places in uh whatever europe exactly they would carve it into beets to keep uh, jack away to scare jack away that's wild <laughs> but Ultimately, it's um, funny stuff. I mean, we are, we hear a lot of cool, you know, interesting. I knew none of this before, you know, we, you know, prepping for this. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's really I, cool. Yeah. So I think we got to move on in this case because you know, again, the history of Halloween, guys. It's super shrouded in mystery. Uh, yeah, no you, one agrees on it. That's no, something else that, that yeah. you should take away from this is there's no, if you look into it, no, there's no total agreement on where they say Halloween, the trick or treating aspect came. Uh, I believe it was uh, originated in medieval times, was what they said. Yeah, yeah, that it people had to went do door, to door. door to door. Yeah, and they said they like uh, asked for a piece of cake in return for uh, praying for your your uh, lost loved ones. Exactly, uh, exactly. So, yeah. And now that, that I've, so, and that's a whole nother thing because it didn't start with the you know people running around asking for things. So exactly, exactly. So I mean, let's let's you know, uh, let's just recommend that basically everyone out there, I you know, do your own research and guys, exactly. guys take if you're get, interested. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's cool as hell because there's so many different people, and it really does actually come down to like historians telling you some really interesting, yeah, pretty stuff. cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. So. On to, on to some really like haunted places in San Diego. Yeah. I think first, Here we go. I mean, first we do have to bring up uh, um, the Hotel Del. Oh yeah, it's uh, the first and foremost. I mean, that's the place that um, that everyone, you know, yeah. you know, that's on the... So the, what, what, I mean, I believe her name was, I believe you got to tell me the story because I'm not, mm. I, I'm a San Diego transplant. I feel like a local now but you got to tell me the story it's katie morgan in room 302 you know what's funny I, I actually had no idea that it was a suicide i thought it was just somebody died in the hotel really but it, yeah, yeah again looking looking it up for this i was really it was interesting to hear that it was a suicide i didn't know hmm. that I, I even saw that someone uh, an actress died um out in uh, like swimming in the ocean out in front some she was born in the 1800s i'm sure she was like silent film early early sound film wow and probably, and probably black and white movies anyway you cut it so old and so she she took her own life in the hotel. Oh no no she actually just died swimming. It was a uh, oh that's the actress. Yeah that was the oh oh no yeah so yeah what back about to the, the yeah, back what, to the suicide yeah, yeah that was in the room uh, three three uh, I believe was it at the time it was three something three oh two did the actress happen after that? I uh, ooh that's a really good question. That's that a really good question. That's a really good question. Because it would be like it part just, of the haunting. It, they don't, I don't think they say anything about her ghost or you know any of that. Yeah, yeah. Not, I just so, say know, not. What's <laughs> the story? Do they see? Do they? Are there like reports of seeing um, Kate Kate Morgan? 
Uh, that's, I, I believe so, yeah. People say that, yeah, they, there's cold spots and that they're, you know, like they'll be walking down what's, the hallway and see her. What's a cold spot for everyone who doesn't exactly, uh, has Again, I've never experienced any of this, but, uh, just, yeah. yeah, looking at, like, with the, my knowledge of it, it's just, uh, when do the people say, oh, this room's cold, you know, like, all that kind of stuff. Really? Yeah. So, and it would, like, just for every, any other, no other reason but kind of a, sp- like, a spiritual kind yeah. of... Wow, that's that, what they say. Suppose I mean this is not. Yeah, yeah, no, I, not, yeah, exactly. No, but it, it's he's not know. a ghost hunter. People, we're not holding him out. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you, yeah, when you you know when people say you walk in a room like oh that room was cold like that's I think what they they're trying to say, which is all you know. Uh, yeah. What do they call that? Um, uh, the type of evidence. Well, I mean whatever. It's, yeah, I'm I'm missing the. That's I'm missing spooky. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> spooky, 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 spooky. You know. I mean, when you get into that doesn't, stuff... It doesn't really mean anything is basically what I'm trying to say. Doesn't yeah, exactly. Anything. Of course, of course. So, But then people who claim that the stuff's moved around, that's kind of weird. And if that is true, then that's... Yeah, I, yeah, mean, I believe you... That's, you, you that's, also that's something earlier, I would rather... I would, that's an experience I'd rather not go through. Yeah. <laughs> you were saying earlier, I think, too, like the, the TV was like flickering, the lights would yeah, flicker. Yeah, they say the lights and, flicker. Yeah, things move around. That's, it, there's that one room, uh, like uh, when we were... Uh, it's one thing I've heard. We actually... Um, we saw it again when we were researching it. That uh, um, the one that room I believe how long's the wait to get into that that oh, yeah. specific so room or she she uh the room now is room three three two seven changed numbers yeah yeah it was formerly room three o two okay three three two seven now and apparently <clears throat> since there is a certain market for you know uh, ghost tours and yeah, yeah. haunted tours yeah. Uh, if you want to go and check out, you know, the metaphysical trippy nature of the room, want to get the yeah. sh- shit scared out of you, yeah. frankly, uh, I'm not saying I believe in it, but, you know, then you have to have a very long wait. Uh, it's not like a normal hotel yeah, room yeah, reservation. It's like the, yeah, presidential suite at, you know, some <laughs> crazy hotel. Yeah, know. exactly, to have the shit scared out of you. <laughs> yeah, And exactly. I think the story was, too, isn't the story that she had a room in the hotel, this, this female Kate Morgan, and... She was either going to rendezvous with her lover or husband yeah, or, so, yeah. and he didn't come. Yeah, or, but no one knows that she it, bought a gun in town, which is all very, yeah, it's interesting. I didn't, I didn't know that whole story, which is uh, yeah. that place. But there, there's also on a, on a I guess, a, um, you know, a more, you know, something you take away that's more positive from that. So you're not just looking at this place <laughs> like it's, like it's, like, you know, like the, uh, the like a hell pit, basically, is that um, they filmed, like, there's a, what's that one movie? Um, uh believe it oh, man i'm blanking out i should have, i should have done some research on this it's a movie with uh marilyn monroe oh they film a classic movie at the hotel yeah Dow? yeah yeah there's there's i believe there's one i think it's some like it hot it's one of those what it's one of those big you know famous ones uh one of those movies that a lot of people say is like the greatest movie of all time or one of the greatest movies of all time rather some like it hot there you go so I, yeah yeah uh, there's scenes at uh, film there, so it's and, and a lot of celebrities used to frequent it. People still frequent it from all around the world, so yeah. it's not you know it's not all bad. No, it's probably the business. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, no, no, the Hotel Dell is great. Yeah, obviously. exactly. I'm not it's, trying to exactly. That's and, I just didn't want to make it seem like we're like oh this place is you know. And Coronado Brewing is great also. Repping it, repping it for San Diego, uh, you know it, it's awesome out there. Exactly. Um, and well, the other this is the that's the great great the, location. Exactly. The craziest part though is. That from our research, we can also say that that's not even the spookiest place oh, in yeah. San Diego. Yeah. You got just the one everyone knows, and we, that comes to mind to most people. We got to talk. I mean, first and foremost, about the Whaley House. Yeah, I, which I didn't even. I'm not gonna lie, I've never heard of it. Didn't know about it. Guys, now that I know about it, I yeah. The Whaley House <laughs> yeah. was is so damn haunted that it is actually registered as a haunted house by the United States Department of Commerce. I mean, okay, I'm, just, I'm, I'm not one to say that the government stamps something and it's set in stone, but if the government's willing to yeah, regulate yeah. something as haunted, then I think... Yeah. And the history behind it is kind of really morbid. Yeah, it's um, kind of, yeah. It used to be gallows, yeah, right? Yeah, ex- exactly. Yeah, and then what, what was the story then? And then there was, after there was gallows... It became a house, and there was like two uh, women in it. Yeah, and... some lady in there. Yeah, same same thing as this. So yeah, <laughs> again, we're getting it. We're getting out of the way early. So yeah, don't don't be. Yeah, this, this isn't going to be a continuing trend. We're not going to be going down. This is just uh, the two the two dark spots. But yeah, basically the the same thing happened there. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and people say that's even worse. Like that's like you'll see windows open and closed. They said all kinds of spooky stuff happens there. Yeah, that place seems out of control. Apparently, there's rumors of 
you know, like some lady who lived there, not only one lady committed suicide, but there was uh, rumors of a lady who somehow was killed by her clothesline outside. It got tangled, at which I... Yeah, it sounds kind of like one of those, yeah. Don't get it. Final destination type, it's, yeah. And it's, and it's apparently haunted by someone called Yankee Jim. Yeah, yeah. And Yankee was it, Jim. Yankee yeah. Jim was the original guy hung there, or not one of the, one of the original people yeah. hung there, I believe. Yeah, I, that's that was, that's the yeah, speculation. Yeah, exactly. Of, yeah. I mean, I mean, it seemed like that was all pretty well documented. So, yeah, the thing is, once the U.S. Department of Commerce is involved, yeah. I, that's weird. That's yeah, weird. No, I agree. And I don't know if that's maybe just regulation of like I mean, making it a tourist trap, like some yeah. like the mystery spot in yeah, um, and, uh, um, Gravity Falls, exactly, or the actual mystery spot in Santa. Cruz. Oh, the mystery think, spot. Yeah. yeah exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like you're taking it the there. Mystery yeah, shack. Like, yeah, yeah, the mystery <laughs> shack. Yeah, yeah. No, the mystery spot. Yeah, definitely. That. Uh, I guess it's funny because you see all those videos on YouTube of like scientists going there and like, oh, this is why that. You know, they kind of. Ruin yeah. It. Oh yeah, yeah. and. Look, again, this is not us trying to say uh, the ghosts exist or anything, but there is something to... It's Halloween. You gotta have some it's, fun. Yeah, yeah, it's Halloween. We gotta spook <laughs> out, now. you know? And the thing is, ultimately... You gotta have some fun. You know, you gotta have some fun, yeah. and, you know, we and gotta keep, keep it... We yeah. gotta keep it a little weird. We gotta keep it a little weird. But, look, hey, here we go. On to... Some cool... Halloween stories. Let's, you know, we said we were going to talk about oh, this. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, uh, you one can't more... talk about Halloween without that. Yeah. Exactly. And you will, what we can't talk about Halloween without is I, you know, I want to hear some, you know, let me hear about a time that you just raked in the treats. I guess, so, yeah, I mean, when you're younger, you don't have the stamina. You don't, you know, your parents. Are, I guess the for me, it was right when, like, probably the first two, three years, I, you get to go out by yourself. So, like, you know, whatever, like, maybe, like, I don't know, that's the thing, like, my parents, we used to all go in big groups with, like, because all the kids and all the, uh, the you know, parents were friends, so it was it was just always a big group, so we, uh, it, we, we did that a little later than most people, probably, like, fourth grade, but by, like, fifth, sixth grade, we were, we were free, freelancing. And Diamond that's, out. Yeah, so probably, um, and then by the time you get to, like, middle school, I think seventh grade we went, and then, um, or maybe it was sixth grade, but either way, there was one year we went, we got shit. Everyone's like, you guys, we like three houses in a row. Maybe not, I'm probably over exaggerating, but we got shit like from you know multiple houses we went to. So, and I remember even going home and telling my parents, like, yeah, it was, you know, it's funny, like people were getting, I always knew they were giving, you know, but it's just like, oh, that was funny. Like it was like the, you know, there were people were kind of telling us, why are you out here? What are you doing? And my parents were like, oh, that's, you know, that's, that's a shame. So that was the, that was, the, I remember that being the end, but my bad, back to your question of cleaning up. That's wild though. That is, that's an interesting one. When is the end? Yeah, that's what they, yeah, exactly. It's kind of like learning who Santa is. You don't want to be the, like Rogan says, you don't want to be the, the first kid and the last kid. Cause the, the first kid's, it, you know, the dickhead and he's going to tell everybody last kid's not too smart. So hmm. it's kind of a fine line with trick or treating like that too. And it's not so much finding anything out. It's just, when do you stop? Yeah, that's true. That's true. No, I, that that was actually a very. But to good answer take. your question, yeah, I kind of yeah, did. But yeah. to answer your question, uh, when do you fully, clean? When do you clean up? I'd say yeah, between like probably. I mean, I might have been fourth. I'm. I, I don't have like a you know. Like, oh, this year, that year, between probably like fourth and like you know, because I might have been you know away from the parents in fourth grade. I'm not a hundred percent, but I'd say between fourth and sixth grade was just, yeah. That was like pillowcase. Like every street, pillowcase maneuvers. Pillowcase to the top. Every street ha would have. I didn't even just. You know, I didn't go crazy. I would have candy for like you know till like March or whatever. Right when it was start <laughs> to going bad. Yeah, kind of strategically eat the stuff that you know was gonna go bad early. The stuff with like loose wrappings and save like you know the vacuum sealed factory sealed stuff. You know for. What was your guys' move? Was you ever you know did you ever employ you know, wheels? Oh, no, we never got that crazy. There were some kids who would do that. And there were also kids who would go start early, do one neighborhood, get their parents to drive them to another neighborhood. Oh, wow. I, I never did that. That's like some rich kid, you know, maneuvering. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was a, that one house, though. I, I'm glad I yeah, uh, to, to put a cap on this for me, at least. That one, there was a house up the street for me. Everyone knew, uh, knew it as the castle house. It was, it was shaped exactly. Does it, it look built like, It looked like a castle. It was it was built to look exactly like a castle. So it had like a big gate out in front. It had those. Wow. Uh, I'm not sure, like the old weathered kind of cobblestone looking. You know. And no, we're not telling you exactly where it is yeah. because we're not telling you where he lives. That's yeah. not how this works. Yeah. But anyways, the uh, the owner. The sorry. Owner, sorry. Uh, no, no, no. You're good. Yes. Yeah, so, no, I was just getting sidetracked with the house. But um, we went there. It's just kind of a cool, you know, it wasn't just a random house. So we'd go to that house for probably two, at least two years, maybe three years. And they did king size. They give king size 
uh, Hershey bars, king size candy bars. So everyone wanted to go there, stop there twice, and they, you know, they're pretty good. There's a rich guy lived there, so he's, you know, he's, you know, probably pretty smart Wait, guy. Yeah, they had the fucking. You they did something had the right to be living in a castle. <laughs> oh, they gave you king size though. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it was it was pretty cool, man. Hello, operator. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty cool. And then, uh, long story short, that he moved and. Um, Shame. And then, yeah, then it's like uh, after that, they, they would keep the gate closed. The other people were not festive at all. Isn't that funny, though? Even it's though funny, yeah. it happened two, three years to yeah. you, it's someone who had a, you know, ton of money. All they did was probably, like you were saying, probably just hit up Costco. Exactly. Bought, yeah, like whatever, four or five boxes of like Hershey's. And then. And here you are over over 15 years later. Oh, yeah, definitely. And, and still yeah. remembering it fondly. Oh, I yeah. Mean, that's it's it's funny like that's that's why we're doing the Halloween episode because it's a really cool holiday and a lot of people hate it. I mean, even now there's a lot of guys getting play on Halloween. You get out, put it. I mean, it's not my cup of tea, but there's you know. Hey, it is what it is. You know, girls look fresh. You know, get your you know get. Have, it's cool. Yeah, there's nothing like it. It is what it is. There's yeah, nothing. I mean, uh, I guess there's a, like other days where people kind of while out, but. Oh, dude, this is one of the ones too where I'm no, I'm look. I sit it in, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, you know me. But exactly. Yeah, I, cool. I, I sit in. I don't really uh, partake in all that, but I think it's cool. We call, I mean, we call nights like going out like this and going too hard, kind of amateur behavior. Because yeah, amateur hour, exactly. Yeah, the, the it is, it is an amateur the, night. For the sure. cops are out. I mean, oh, there's it's an amateur checkpoints. Night. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, they're yeah. looking for. You know, not to say that we're here wiling out, but it's it's just a night that cops will go extra hard on you. Exactly. It's, it's, that's inevitable. Yeah. And, and no disrespect to yeah. any cops. It's just like, you know you're going harder on Halloween. You know you're going harder on New Year's. You know you're going harder on prom night. And look, I actually get why, but yeah. I'm going to not go hard. <laughs> exactly. It's it's. There's so many other nights you can go out. And, you know, I exactly. also don't like dressing up in costumes anymore, personally, but... um. Yeah, like I'll throw on like my Scooby Doo shirt. I'll do. Nah, we did the helmets. That's about it. You know the. Police I wear this and... shirt on a on a regular day. Though, yeah, anyways, exactly. Yeah. But you got to wear it on Halloween. That's like you know the extent of that's that's how far I'll take it. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you sharing those stories about. I mean, that's oh, yeah, that's cool. It. Regardless, like like especially too like, I we didn't even discuss the first uh, the first one of of kind of when it's over in terms of trick or treating. Oh yeah. So that was that was really cool. Yeah. Um, I have I have a, I have a couple, fairly funny ones. I mean, the one that we really raked it in on was when I lived overseas in Tokyo. Uh, we lived on the American Embassy compound. Oh, yeah. And, like, dude, honestly, this was like some fucking Jack Sparrow and the crew of the Black Pearl fucking rolling in and pillaging <laughs> shit. Like, so some it was, it was Viking behavior. Yeah. Oh, dude. Dolling out was, tricks left and right. There was, there was, there was, dude, it was... It was tricks and treats. Yeah, that was the like, wildest yeah, part. Yeah, you're, you're tricking people getting treats, and it was that just was all... it was tricking people getting treats. <laughs> yeah, just mayhem. We running amok. <laughs> there was a row of townhouses, maybe like you know, seventy. Dude, we let local local like Japanese people come in, and like I shouldn't say let. It was in Japan. Yeah. Um, but they came. Yeah, in they were and, allowed to. I know how that works. Yeah, Military it was super is cool. Very, yeah, yeah. But um, what's it called? There was three. Uh, skyscrapers in the compounds of all houses you know I yeah. lived on the 13th and 14th floor of the skyscraper in Tokyo obviously just a quick background my parents were in the foreign service so that's why I was out there I was growing up so I was there in uh, early high school um, but we would go through the towers yeah and the townhouses and we just all switch masks with each other and go back <laughs> oh nice so you yeah they, they wouldn't recognize you literally just sprint up, up and down the stairwell that's smart. We we and trick that's tricking people to yeah. get treats, and it's not harm, no harm. It's no, no, just, you're just getting more candy. And the thing is, it's not like we're grabbing handfuls and gobs. Yeah. We actually, we're actually putting in the work. Yeah. yeah. Our our hustle per treat. Oh yeah, is it's pretty yeah, hard. It's, yeah, definitely. That's not yeah. It was not some lazy, you know. Just kind of spink their everyone. No, yeah, switching masks and then actually, why? I mean, it sounds easy, but then when you really. It's one of those things, like where if you when you start doing it, you realize how much you have to put into. Like you're you're not just changing masks in front of the door. You got to walk around the corner, then you got to walk back. It's you know. Part of it also too was because we were, uh, you know, getting up there in age in terms of that. We were a little bit embarrassed. So oh, gotcha. We so felt you had that to we wear had the to. Masks we felt we had them. to, you know, kind of 
justified in some way like yeah we're getting a lot of candy. Oh, okay i see what you're saying well, yeah it, it's all like, we're not just that. out here like playing by the rules <laughs> exactly exactly yeah and then the the time that we dude this is the time i honestly do regret when i was in london we we had the brilliant idea of all being on skates oh nice yeah like inline we you know we we skateboarded we aggressively yeah, inline yeah. we scootered <laughs> we grew up in the fucking 90s it is what yeah, it is like, yeah Everyone yeah, you do it all. Yeah. Even if you didn't, yeah, you like, tried it. You, you did it yeah, a yeah, little bit. Exactly. <laughs> um, we all had skates, and we were just cruising around. And one of my buddies, I think it was my buddy Sam. This is in costume too, correct? This is in costume. Wow. I think my buddy Sam. Yeah. I think my buddy Sam. I'm not gonna say his last name. It starts with the last letter of the alphabet, though. Um, I'll just say that. And uh, I think he brought eggs. It was either him or my buddy Mike. Yeah. And we threw eggs at this whole crowd of people. And I just remember, like, it was, like, the first, like, stupid bad thing I did. And I was, like, scared the whole night. Like, every time, like, a car came by, I was looking out the window. Yeah, like, it's the yeah. cops. So I was, yeah, was so like, you, you thought it was, yeah. I'm 10 years old or something. I got shit, you, yeah. You, know? like, you get paranoid, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah like so certain things. Basically, yeah. my stories were that I egged a group of people and that I took candy at an old age. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And your stories were that you knew when to quit. I just did. They you gave got me shit. I tapped out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. Hey, well, your stories were were much more uh, well, I'm not redeeming I'm... of your yeah. quality yeah. than yeah. mine. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know. Uh, anyway, you know. So I, I guess those were those were pretty great. Yeah. I, I you know I don't I don't have a ton more to add. I guess the only thing that. I think is cool now that we were talking about is like maybe going forward in the future in terms of like how I want to like hand out like uh, stuff on Halloween. We were even having the discussion that I was saying, I was saying uh, like, oh yeah, it'd be great to have like a little stand outside, just have, you know, your iPad out there, just, you know, messing around, have some hot chocolate for people, exactly, have some water. Yep. But then you were saying people aren't going to take it if it's not. Yeah. Like what's in there? How would you make that with you? <laughs> It's like, uh, yeah, I, strict nine. Yeah, exactly. And if I took the time to be out here, you know, like, I guess. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, this, yeah. That's the sickness of It's going to be pretty easy, though, there. if everyone, you know, it's gonna be, it's a death sentence for that guy because it's going to be obvious everyone who drank the hot chocolate. But then again, I, I do see, I you mean. You can't see into the mind of someone like that because they're like, if I get so many people, whatever, I think it, that's. Exactly, yeah. I'm acting like I know, but oh, I know it's it. It does make sense why people stay away from it, but it also sucks that you can't be that you know. Because if you're giving out like cookies on Christmas, no one's tripping about this stuff during Christmas or like you know. There's gonna the be a razor season. blade in your stocking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and like the haunted, I don't know. There's obviously some kind of you know uh, uh, there Jewish must have pastry. Been. Oh yeah. So there, and there's no talk uh, about no one's tripping on any of that stuff. Yeah, Jews eat. Um, it's on. A I know holiday called true. Purim. Okay. They eat these triangle pastries. So there's not anything like that for Hanukkah then, or for the Hanukkah season. My mom makes yeah. Hanukkah cookies. Okay, so it's <laughs> yeah. But then my mom. So it's a co just cookies mom, are wholesome. I mean, my they call them not Christmas. Jewish. I, even calling them Christmas cookies is kind of a funny thing because yeah. it's just a cookie. I mean, exactly. I know they, they're shaped in certain, you know. Exactly. We got like an R recently shapes. for Ravens, so it's like. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah. Yeah, just on some goofy yeah, shit. Some R cookies. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um. Dude, so uh, this is, I think this is going to be the fun one. I mean, I know that all yeah. the, this is going to be the really fun one just because, like, of our love of, like, these kind of TV shows. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. The spooky TV shows. The spooky segment. Yeah. You know, um, these are kind of shows that, as I said in the intro, that I feel like they, you can watch them on Halloween just because they have that like spooky or like yeah. eerie vibe. Exactly. I mean, this is a, you said this even better. It's almost me. like the nighttime show, the daytime nighttime show. That's oh that. Let's pin that for a later date. That's a really yeah, interesting yeah. one. But I think it goes along very well with the Halloween theme. A lot of things that play good on Halloween, like you know. Actually, you know, let's do. You know, I mean, yeah, I think we could. Because you know, another movie I didn't uh, throw into the mix is like Clue. I don't think that like those. Okay, let's just say a broader on a broader spectrum. Any um, um, what do you call them? mansion murder mysteries? It's almost a tongue. Not quite. Almost a tongue twister. Say it three times. Say it. Mansion murder mystery. Mansion murder mystery. Mansion murder mystery. Yeah. Wow. Not quite. He's on point <laughs> on the podcast. You cannot slight this guy. Yeah, so I was fumbling words around like a 
damn juggler earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that, no problem. Now all of a sudden you're flipping yeah. freaking I, 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 yeah. flaming bowling yeah. pins. I didn't know some, some facts earlier that I should have if I was brought up those. You yeah. knew it. Yeah, yeah, you it, knew yeah it. it worked out. Yeah, it's still, yeah. yeah but still juggling. Think, it worked out. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, no, I mean, dude, so, I mean, these are basically, these are shows that you wouldn't, mm-hmm. it's not necessarily that every episode is about Halloween. A lot of them do have a Halloween episode. Yeah, exactly. But they kind of exemplify the nature of what we feel like Halloween's all about. Yeah. Whether it's like, I, I mean, you know, whether it's just like kind of eerie or whether it's kind of ethereal. Yeah, exactly. I, I just think that, you know, it being such a, you know, mysterious ho- holiday yeah. in, in just that, as we were saying earlier, in terms of the lack of history yeah. knowledge of it. Exactly. That these shows lend itself to it. And, and even shows like a lot of these shows have like folklore and stuff like that. And that really plays big into the whole Halloween. Precisely. You know? yeah. Precisely. And, you know, so, I mean, here, I, we, we'll list, I mean, like a perfect one to start off with is one that, you know, uh, we are going to go into depth and do a big episode about uh, later down the road, mm-hmm. Twin Peaks. Yeah, which is... Again, not there's no Halloween episode. There's nothing very Halloweeny about it, but it's, it's it screams Halloween if you know. It screams Halloween. So yeah, that's it's perfect for the you know, McLaughlin. Spooky. It's the occult. It's all about the occult and you know the you know the, the things that are around you that you can't quite you know put it because everyone has those feelings. I don't care who you are and whether you believe in this stuff or not. Everyone's had a you know like a sixth sense type of thing where you're like, oh, I knew something was wrong or I didn't, you know. Yeah, and that's that's a David Lynch. That's a very that's a David Lynch, Lynch yeah, one. Playing into like the kind of fear, the, 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 you know, the unprovoked fear that you get. Yeah, absolutely. David Lynch, uh, Kyle MacLachlan, Cheryl Lee. And provoked fear, I mean, both. He's great at, yeah. And yeah. he's also, if you know anything about David Lynch, yeah, he's a, he's a, he's in his own world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think... Twin Peaks is just like you said, nothing specifically Halloweeny about it. But if you know anything about just like kind of vibes or feelings about you know certain whether it's a certain time or whether yeah. it's you know it's just completely on point with Halloween. Um, you know the town of Twin Peaks is so mysterious mm-hmm. and kind of the characters are so quirky and the characters are almost wearing costumes. Exactly. I don't that's, know if that's. I, I know that's kind of getting, you know, it, it, yeah, dissecting it, the film film school version yeah. of it. But I, they they all are wearing costumes. Not in the sense that I know what you mean. And just to clear clarify what you, what you're saying is that he's not saying about you know the, you can't see the actors. He's saying like there there's everyone has secrets. Everyone, everyone, yeah. and their secrets are insane. Um, and as you find more and more about their secrets, you find out more and more how they're all intertwined. And they're all intertwined with this just weird history of the town, um, and kind of the supernatural goings on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, you know, so Twin Peaks is definitely one. Uh, you know, one that we inevitably um, have to talk about. I know. I know. Actually, we we have you. Uh, you wanted to give a recommendation in this, uh, um, but we have Mystery Inc. and Gravity Falls. Those are two cartoons that yeah two uh it's a child cartoon i mean i mean they're for uh you know technically uh, kid cartoons for yeah kids. mystery inc is yeah. scooby-doo mystery inc exactly it was it's on a, netflix uh yeah exactly for a long time it's 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 in the long way like a scooby-doo where are you like the original and then all the other you know scooby-doo cartoons that have been going on over the years it's it's uh just one in the long line of all the scooby-doos but it's just what as makes you know this, it's, it's, what makes this particularly you know spooky in the halloween that one's really cool because they're they're in this specific town. You get to know the town, and there's a lot of what's the town called for all the viewers out there? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. The, the town's called uh, Crystal Cove. It's right on the water, so there's always <laughs> that fog. There's always you know that kind of eerie, spooky beach, kind of like uh, in the. I don't know if you, uh, if anyone's seen the old uh, the old original Scooby Doo's. There's like the one on the beach that the famous one where the guy. Uh, it's like the scuba uh, divers chased him around. It all they all kind of give off that spooky beach kind of creepy. Scuba Steve, no, I'm yeah, just kidding. <laughs> exactly. Kind of pier. Wow, well, what do they call that? Like Long Beach, like the industrial harbors, like a harbor. Yeah, yeah. It, even though I don't think there is a, a really a big harbor, but it kind of gives well, that hey, creepy, you know, industrial. Well, hey, the way the mist has been rolling into San Diego and the beach town, and the fact that we were talking about both, uh, you know, the Hotel Dell and the wow, the. Uh, Whaley House. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's San Diego. No, I'm just exactly. kidding. Exactly. <laughs> oh, another really cool thing about that show, before I forget, is that it, um, it, it, uh, 
you if you have to watch it, usually Scooby Doo each episode's contained. They find out what's going on, and, and they. When you say have, contained, when you say contained, what do you mean? Whereas you don't have to watch any of the episode, or you don't have to start from the beginning and watch it in a linear fashion to understand and get something out of each episode. Oh, kind of. Oh, so there's a running storyline throughout the throughout the episodes yeah. that build. Exactly, and it, it, it's, it starts in the beginning, they kind of you know, they plant the seed, and there's certain episodes where you might not find out a whole lot about the whole overarching plot, but it's definitely, it has an overarching thing that's going on, and it's the first Scooby-Doo to ever do that, which is, I mean, again, you can see, I, I'm, I'm a fan, I, you know, I've always liked Scooby-Doo, so it's, you know. Scooby-Doo is such a clear Halloween pick. Yeah, and it's a great show to throw on, I used to throw it on at night, just to kind of turn my, you know, turn your brain off, so you get ready yeah, to Yeah, you were telling me the visuals, yeah. like, yeah, the are visual, yeah. beautiful on oh, that show, yeah, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Yeah, yeah. that's a yeah. Uh, so uh, you very know, Oddcast logo esque. Oh wow! <laughs> I, well, shoot, I appreciate that. Um, um, ultimately, you know, it is funny. I, that's a whole another discussion for a different day. Yeah. About could dive into that shows show. that are oh, that, contained yeah. versus yeah. shows that what it is is there's a plot within the show, but then there's you know those five two to five minutes yeah. at the end of every episode exactly where something happens that affects the whole storyline oh, yeah. of the and there's certain episodes too where they're it's it's something that where they've they been going after the whole time exactly so that's really cool so so far we have twin peaks mystery inc and Gra- gravity falls we've recommended yeah. that before in this program yeah, so that's... just super quick i mean are you, why why to you is that like halloween even though well, they do. They do have Summerween. Yeah, they the, have Summerween, which is funny. But, uh, yeah, they basically. Yeah, if you haven't seen that, it doesn't ruin anything. It's still funny to watch. It's it's summertime, so they go around trick or treating during the summertime, uh, and they start instead of carving uh, jack o' lanterns into pumpkins, they carve them into the jack o' melons, which is a watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> and they have yeah, exactly. You know, jack o' lantern watermelons. It's insane. Yeah, and uh, yeah, there's there's like this the whole there the monster in that one, I believe, or the the. The enemy, the you know the the supernatural force or whatever that they're going after in that one is like a it's all the bad candy that gets thrown away that comes together as a whole to to go after <laughs> and everyone who threw them away, which is kind of comical when you think it's like the candy corn, the black uh, licorice, you know, all the, <laughs> exactly. you know, the stuff nobody wants and exactly. everyone just gets rid of. Yeah, so it's oh, pretty gosh. comical. It's a funny concept. Yeah, it really is, and that that's that's a great show. And that's just one episode. Yeah, exactly. That's that's a really great show. Um, and and uh, like you mentioned earlier about the uh, the what's the the actually the one in real life in Santa Cruz? Uh, it's the Mystery Spot. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's based off of that. There, the Mystery Shack is basic is the the oh, that's really center of that show, and it's based. It's I mean loosely. I mean they're kind of just poking fun at that a little bit. That's a really good point. Yeah, just funny. You mentioned that earlier, so so uh, the next one, the next one that we want to kind of break mm-hmm. down. Look, this this one is another one that we could do a whole. 17 and a half part episode on yeah. uh, Stranger Things. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. If, if you're a fan of that, you're a fan of that. But if you're not, then, um, I mean... Stinks. Yeah, that's that's kind of a bummer. But most people... That's a show I know uh, if you're into it, people have a hard time staying away from it. People are, uh, You don't hear a lot of people saying like they're saving the episodes or waiting. You uh, know, I'm waiting to watch that. No one... Yeah, that's one of those ones that people kind of... That's, that, that's arguably... I mean, maybe not by the numbers, but I haven't that I can think of I haven't seen a show make that big of a splash on Netflix I think in terms that's of merchandise Net- and yeah I and think that's the... gotta be Netflix biggest yeah. um, uh-huh. what do you call it like original success to date yeah cause I know House of Cards was really big but then it got jammed up after space exactly and even out. then I, it was like the first couple seasons and I'm sure they got actually I don't know I can't say they got relative I, viewership I have to say look I have to say I just not to diverge too much and go off on a tangent but uh-huh. I watched the first season. I thought it was pretty good of House of Cards, and I I saw it, the one or two episodes. It, it was good. I did just yeah. I didn't keep watching it. I thought it fell off fairly significantly, um, in regards to. I heard you 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 told me that I believe years ago, and then I heard um, heard that through the grapevine. <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely. So Stranger Things, uh, you know, another one that the reason also that I think we're saying that this is like one for Halloween and that it's spooky is just because of like, again, this this one has really ethereal kind of supernatural elements to it that just go hand in hand with the mysterious nature of Halloween. Yeah. Um, the acting is great in it. Uh, it again. It yeah, kinda... for for a bunch of actors that I mean, other than Winona Ryder, who was totally blacklisted. It's yeah, why was she? Why, why, why? The shoplifting. 
Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Oof. Hello. Um, yeah, it's just one of those things where people are like, you know, they couldn't, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of a liability thing, too, if you're going to hire. I used to think about it back in the day, like, oh, how is that? You know, how did that mess her up that bad? But if you're going to hire, it's like, oh, what is she going to, like, steal something from my... But not to be rude, but, I mean, it's just kind of is what it is. Yeah, exactly. Is she going to start stealing stuff from the set or <laughs> whatever? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And I think, it's like... bad luck. The other thing that makes us feel a little bit Halloween with that is, irregardless when you watch, like, those kind of cool childhood friendship movies it's uh -huh. gonna give you that nostalgia of being a kid oh yeah exactly and because it's definitely et trick or treating yeah oh yeah kid. they have the halloween it's, episode it's, in season two yeah exactly and which is absolutely amazing <laughs> i mean of all the trick or treating i mean it's only like 15 minutes of the episode Ghost. i mean they're kind of yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> oh wow yeah, I forgot about uh, I forgot about that. I forgot about her. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, and then yeah, that's 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 actually a really. It's not. Um, there's actually a lot more than uh, ten minutes or fifteen minutes, whatever I said. Of um, I guess there's only 15, 10, 15 minutes of them actually out there. Yeah, the, the crew rocking like, it out. But the whole episode is very. That's one of the best Halloween episodes I've seen of. Anything, no doubt. You know. No doubt. Like we were saying I was looking at movies. I was expecting to see more, but there's really not. There's not much. Yeah. Oh um, yeah. I mean, it's it's it, it was more of the typical stuff. This is look. This is why we were we're going through this unique list because the stuff that we saw when we kind of looked up Halloween movies was stuff that you instantly are gonna think of, like yeah, you know, Adam's Family, Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, you know, the, those horror movies. Yeah, the Halloween. Halloween. First and foremost. Exactly. Those pops course. up first. Of yeah, course. Yeah. Exactly. And, uh -huh. and we just wanted to kind of do a different little take on it. I, I think... Yeah, because a lot of the shows we mentioned, I mean, even Twin Peaks has a comedy element. So a lot of this... Stuff, exactly, yeah. yeah. This is not strictly spooky. It's just that these are great things to watch on yeah. Halloween with your friends to kind of get a very, like... It's not necessarily an uneasy vibe, but you... you oh, yeah. It's kind of cool that you don't know what's going to happen yeah. or what's going to drop. And going along with that point... I think the next one that we wanted to talk about was uh, Wayward Pines. Oh yeah, which that's is, one again, that's not totally bad. not Halloween. But it's just. But it is. <sighs> it's, it's it's creepy. It's spooky. It's, exactly. Yeah. So Wayward it's Pines. It's unanswered. Like a lot of things in Halloween. Exactly. Yeah. Wayward Pines is something I would again. Can't quite, yeah. This is something that, since we want to recommend it to you, we don't want to give away too much, but. It's. Uh, what Matt Matt Dillon, right? Oh, yeah, Matt Dillon. Yeah, Matt Dillon and does Kevin, the first yeah. season, and Kevin uh, Kevin Dillon, his brother, yeah, is on. It's Kevin right. Dillon's brother, and uh, who is it? Patrick? Uh, uh, or oh, 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 ooh, yeah, another, another, <laughs> yeah, James, James, James Patrick, uh, James Patrick. No, I don't. Oh, that might be it. I forgot. Uh -huh. is it? I'm not. I'm uh, Mr. Jason, pa Jason, Jason Pat Patrick. Whoops, sorry, Jason. Sorry, Jason. Um, <laughs> He's but it. Jason Patrick stars he's in the second doing, season. Doing it's fine. Matt Dillon in the first season. Uh, uh, Matt Dillon absolutely kills it. And the reason that this is kind of like a Halloween thing is the uneasiness and the unsurety that you get when you're watching it. Exactly. It it, it you know the very it lends itself to it's creep. It's not jump scare. There's no jump scares. Uh, with you know what they call where you know it's oh like ah yeah, yeah, exactly yeah, jump out and scare you precisely. There's none of that. It's just kind of, you know, you're trying to figure out what the heck's going on. It's a lot more like Lost, but Lost I wouldn't put in the Halloween category whatsoever. You know, I haven't seen uh, the whole show. Yeah, you can't. You, oh, here, I'll just... Oh, no, you're all good. You, you, you can't, you can't because Lost... It's nice. Look, like they're on a paradise island. island. <laughs> Not, I shouldn't say it's, paradise. It's, no, exactly. It's a lot like Castaway. I mean, that's kind of creepy too. But yeah, exactly. Like if that guy was in a Halloween. creepier setting, maybe it could have, you know. Exactly, maybe exactly. Got run, yeah. If he's in the forest or something. There's something about the forest yeah. and like all that that kind of lends well, itself to. How about this one? Um, and I know that you could do, again, I, I know I'm saying this now. for a lot of these things. Thank you very much. Yeah, of course. Look. Hey, we got some left. First guest to bring... Uh, uh, bring gifts to the oddcast. How can you not love that? Oh, Thank yeah. you very kindly. It tastes like chocolate friend. too, man. It's very fitting. Yeah. That's another thing. Forgot to mention about the stouts earlier is a uh, chocolate heavy chocolate forward flavor, which is oh very yeah, nice. absolutely, it's delicious. If you like chocolate and you've never had a stout, I would run out and grab one. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, this is the one. I know I'm saying this about a yeah. lot of subjects, but we could do a seven part episode oh yeah uh, uh, Harry uh, Potter but, oh Harry Potter yeah that's another one where there's it's not Halloween but it's everything it's witches it's, and wizards and, and it's, you, you know, know what's the funny witches because it's funny wizards never became a yeah, Halloween thing yeah well it's it's, it's, it's kind of it, funny it's you know what's also funny is it's Christmas too 
Wait, what? what do you, oh, Harry uh, Potter. Oh, dude, I don't know. You can know watch if, it during Christmas. I don't know if you know this. Uh, a lot of Christian groups. I mean, I'm sure uh, most because it's. I mean, it's one of the biggest movies ever. So Christian in America is very. It's gonna be good. Christian on the on the whole, people consider themselves to be Christian. So, uh-huh. uh, it, it, you know, people have to be accepting of it. But there is a lot of groups that didn't like that movie. They boy, you know, like picketed and like the 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 very serious. Is that know, because of the uh, the witch surgery black, fact? Exactly. Exactly. Factor? Witches. It's all. Um, it's like you know the Salem witch trials that you know I don't have to tell you there's some people that kind of still believe look that, I have to know, say this, I should say I, kind I, of they, I, they definitely still believe that that's not even okay to, to emulate so so they're they're willing to no it's just it's, in, it's interesting I mean yeah look I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make a huge point of this but oh, all yeah. I'm saying is what is you know uh, the story about someone turning water into wine Oh yeah, that's. But a, yeah. I'll leave it there. Yeah, I'll yeah. leave it there. I'm exactly. not gonna. I'll leave it there. It's no. There's no point. There's no point. Yeah, I guess there's it no just point. goes directly in line. It falls directly in line with like their beliefs, so they feel like they had to say something. And I don't. I just basically, if I'm not trying to to take jabs at Christianity Neither or anything, right. all Neither I'm trying right. to say is that people were mad at this, and it still prevailed. So it's a it's a powerhouse, and a lot of people see merit in it. Yeah. Oh, a I, lot of people I, get a lot from it. You know. Yeah. Yeah. That's. Like, I could. I, I'm a fan, but there's people who like. You know, read the books. I never read all the books. I. I tried. I. I'm, I like the movies. The I movies read most of them. Yeah. yeah. Um, really. That's. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I, um, um. I. I think I tried reading that book, the first book, when I was a little too young, and um, just didn't have the vocabulary to really, you know, because there's it's not big words, but it's you know you can't. I probably tried in like first grade or something. Uh-huh. You just you're not ready for that. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 I see what you mean. Well, you know, shouts out to J.K. Rowling's. Uh, she's, she's like you said, the series and she are powerhouses. Yeah, it's oh, as yeah. simple as that. Yeah. Um, you know what's really cool about that? I know we're getting a little bit off the spookiness of it, um, but it that whole I, series is kind of yeah. It is spooky, yeah, yeah. Whether they're whether they're fighting giant spiders or or playing literal yeah. life or death chess with yeah. life size pieces or fighting this guy. Who literally the entire world doesn't want to say his name? Yeah, I mean, if yeah. that's not spooky, I don't know what is. Also, Harry's a, like a lot of people want to be him for Halloween. I feel like if you're a, uh, some, yeah. somebody that people want to be for Halloween, that's probably a good movie to watch on Halloween. I mean, of course, some people go oh, on Big Lebowski, whatever. Wow, that's a know. fair point, actually. No, I know what you mean. I mean, that's that's actually if if it's something like that, especially yeah, you know, yeah. if it's not like oh, I'm you know Lionel Messi or Kobe Bryant, exactly. You know, like, yeah. Obviously. Oh, go watch a Barcelona game on yeah, Halloween. Exactly. No, that's not exactly. What we yeah, mean. that's a little different. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um. So. Uh, but that's yeah, yeah. That that was that's. I just had to ask it's you about the that, Harry yeah. Potter, and just to give everyone a little preview. Um, me, Dan, and one of our great friends, Taylor Crumpler, are going to do an episode, uh, very very soon, where we're going to discuss uh, the Harry Potter video game that's coming up, and we're not talking about a Lego video game. It's actually going to be an RPG, so Which that's just... Fun. I always thought that movie shit, that's like one of the... Kind of like yeah, everyone says GTA should be made into a movie, which I don't know if that would work as well as Harry Potter being made into a game, because Harry Potter, it's like designed to... Per- yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like Zelda. It's just so yeah. many, so much to explore. Yeah, so you're many. basically going to be a student at Hogwarts, and it's going to be an RPG, which is a role-playing game, and you guide yeah. your way. It's going to be an open-world yeah. game. So we'll, we'll, we'll discuss that in depth, because, uh, you know, uh, we want to get Crumpler's take on that, so... Shout yeah. out to Crumpler. See, yeah, he might. I don't know. He will, it'll be interesting to see what he says about that. It will. I don't will. want to put words in his mouth. It, it I will. Just, I could see that go. It's like a flip in a coin. Yeah, exactly. So hey, the last on our, t- uh, we have two more on our spooky shows. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. Uh, review, but then you have one recommendation that you want to give to the fans, I believe, uh, of the that show on Netflix that was uh, super good. Oh so, yeah, yeah the, that's gonna yeah. yeah. You'll do that. I want you to do that last if that's cool with you. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. The last two on our list that we wanted to kind of review were um, this the Halloween specials on yeah. Family Guy and Simpsons, respectively. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Family Guy, I don't believe they have a title. I think it's just the Halloween episode. Yeah. Um, Simpsons is obviously the Treehouse of Horror. Yeah, the Treehouse of Horror, exactly. Which I, you know, Family what? Guy, I don't think they do them every I, year. So, oh, they yeah. don't. It's more. I don't. I mean, I should know this, but I don't. I don't mm. think so. Do you remember any like specific? There's a really better... good one from like two, three years do you, ago. Do you remember? Can you like talk a little bit about what happened and oh, just like some of the funny? Yeah, shit Stewie that Peter... gets his candy stolen, and uh, he Brian it takes him out. I mean, if you know Family Guy, Brian the dog, Stewie the baby. Go out, go out trick or treating, and, uh, 
and uh, Brian doesn't want to be there, so he leaves Stewie, and uh, these kids steal his candy, and um, steal Stewie's candy. Yeah, steal Stewie's candy. These old kid, these older kids oh come up and God. steal Stewie's candy. It's like the tricycle episode. And then I, yeah, exactly, exactly. Then he meets up with Brian, and they. Yeah, they they rumble to yeah, get him. They oh, find it. Yeah, I think happen. I might have seen. Yeah, that it's actually kind. Of, it's uh, it's a little older. It's, it's okay. It's okay. So it's right before Family Guy took that like 2013 dip, or it's right during that. Is either one of the only good episodes during that, or right before? Uh, it could have been after. I don't think so. That's interesting. Okay. Well, I you know, there was that you know. I think I think I have I, I Brian I, died and all that stuff. That yeah. Everyone, there's so oh yeah exactly everyone there, was talking about it. I'm not even yet. there's so many tree- oh spoiler alert Where, Brian yeah. died sorry guys Brian died in Family Guy yeah. it happened um <laughs> straight up and he um, came back yeah if, dude if you no if, I mean if you haven't found that out by now you don't want to know like you know, you know funny, you I, I looked back I could have swore he was gone for like uh multiple episodes it was uh, or sorry um I think it was one or two episodes. I thought it was like a good amount. I thought it was like a handful. Yeah. But it was it was like two at, yeah. the, at the most. I mean, maybe three. I really think it was one or two, though. That's wild. Yeah. I think, I, well, you know, Family Guy is, to me, look, I have mutual respect. It's, I if I'm picking between Simpsons and Family Guy, I'm pink, picking Simpsons. Oh, yeah. If, he, he's, if he's picking not to put words yeah. in your mouth, you're oh, taking yeah. Family Guy. Yeah. But we have mutual respect for the shows because they have mutual respect for each other. And I think... Which is cool because it used to not be that way, and I think it's evolved to where they. It has, you know, yeah. It, it has. It, uh, sorry, it evolved to where. No, no, just to where they do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah um, ultimately, I think my if I I don't I don't have a favorite Treehouse of Horror. Yeah, it's basically impossible. I can see, yeah, because didn't they start like season two or? It's, or was it I right think away? it's season. Yeah, I think it's season two. Okay, yeah, because I. I think I asked you this before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I should have. You know, I should have done a little bit more research. No, it's, I, I, it's either season two. I or didn't one. do any research on the Family Guy. Yeah, I, it's yeah, it's yeah, yeah, but that yeah. was a great story. Um, yeah, I I think, you know, one of the best ones has to be the parody of The Shining. They oh. call it the Shining, oh. <laughs> and they go to a mansion. Oh. Mr. Burns has them go to a mansion in Pennsylvania, <laughs> and Homer. Loses his mind because there's no beer and no TV. Oh, God. Yeah, he needs some duff. He needs duff. And yeah. then Willie is the guy who's like telling Bart that he needs the shinning. Oh, the yeah, shinning. he's like the, the groundskeeper. He's in the, the maze. I, I'm, I, I mean, yeah. Groundskeeper Willie is the Someone's groundskeeper. He's going to want to stab me when I say this, but I've never seen The Shining all the way through. It's one of those movies I've seen bits and pieces of. Yeah. And I've seen the end, so I've seen a lot of stuff that like kind of ruins it. So I, I, you know. Yeah. I should the, go back and watch the whole thing one day. The other classic one is when, uh, I just want to say the punchline of this. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> it's when dolphins literally conquer the human race oh and this is in the simpsons yeah oh wow. and the last episode there was people talk about that yeah the last episode is them yeah. just all of them just out in the ocean <laughs> like they're yeah. sitting on the couch just <laughs> well shouldn't have fucking let those dolphins have their way with us it's, it's, yeah. yeah that's I mean, funny so the, the, the dolphins take over land yeah the exactly land. precisely it. and and you know look there's there's millions of them i mean there's the gremlin on the bus. Yeah. That, you know, there's... Anyway. That's another Treehouse of Horror. Yeah, there's just so many. And the thing is, it's... Because aren't there multiple episodes in, or multiple kind of stories inside of an episode? It's one of the ones... I believe Family Guy does this every once in a while. Oh, that one of my favorite Family Guy episodes, the director one. Oh, yeah, the director, it's yeah. It's a 22-minute a... segment yeah. for the total, but they break it down into like three, three segments. Stories, yeah. Um, that also, the road, the, the most popular in Family Guy, I would say, is the road too. But those are have yeah. nothing to do with you know, mm-hmm. any of this. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So, um, guys, you got to hear about this. My man's got a recommendation of a show. He wants to let you know. We want to let you know because the past couple weeks, or excuse me, the past couple episodes have been wonderful, and I've really appreciated our guests. So, shout out to both Cody. And Andy Rabins, thank you guys so much. Um, exactly. Uh, but we got a show recommendation again for you, and he's here to bring it to you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tell okay, me a little so, bit about uh, this show. So, yeah, it's a, it's a, you probably, I mean, if you're into, if you have a Netflix subscription, you probably heard about it at this point. It's the, the Hill House, The Haunting of Hill House, which is a, uh, it's like a horror 
show. I don't know how to, you know. Do... Wait, this start, it stars naked ladies? <laughs> a horse show. I, a I, horse always, show. I've always, like, Good I always. Good old 1920s horse show. Whenever I say that. <laughs> oh, God. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever I uh, say, like, like horror, I yeah. always, like, try to yeah. articulate it yeah. so yeah. much. Horror, yeah. Yeah. But keep going. Sorry. Yeah. sorry. No, no, no. You're all good. I, I mean, I wouldn't really even put. It's. Uh, Suspense is a good way to put it, but without the jump scare. So it's not like you're you're waiting for something and then they try to scare the you know crap out of you. Uh-huh. It's a lot more just like you know, not to give anything away, but it's you know creepy. Like what's going on in the you know you're trying to make sense of what you're seeing, kind of kind of uneasy feeling, but not, none of it's trying to like. You know, make your heart jump out of your chest. It's which not I kinda, thought, it's not cheap thrills in a way. Exactly, yeah, like. exactly. And it's it's it does a back and forth. So it's, it's uh it goes back to when uh, the cast was kids living at this haunted house. Wow. And uh, then back uh, back and forth between like what, what I assume day, is current. present day because they're you know, iPhones, all that you know <laughs> stuff. So I assume that it's now. I so, assume it's present day. So there's, I mean, I, I believe you were saying that uh, there was. Um, kind of an interesting family element to it. Oh yeah, so that's what's kind of cool. I'm not into like family dramas, but I uh-huh. think uh, that really lends itself to because it's it it kind of shows how it's it's interesting in the sense of where it shows how things that happen in your childhood, people like carrying baggage. That's a big you know theme. Is it's kind of the like showing what happened when they were kids and then showing them now and maybe showing something. And then they'll show you a, a scene, you know, of them currently, and they'll be like kind of looking at something funny, and you'll be like, "Whoa, okay." In the last scene, you know, there was something weird happened with that, or something, you know. That's deep. Exactly. So, so it almost like the effect of their childhood yeah. on the present day, like actions. Yeah, and even in the first episode, uh, the the one of the the main characters says something like, "A ghost can take many shapes. It can be, you know, a, a wish, uh, a regret, you know." So it, it's it it definitely has that like eerie, you know, creepy element but it also is kind of trying to tell you something about wow. like you know not hanging on to stuff which i just thought was really cool it's a it, and it, it, it uh it just did a really good job at you know i wish more there was more like it uh like that in in the same maybe not the same genre but it's kind of its own thing that's what i'm saying it's not i've never seen anything quite like it i huh. can't because i don't like horror movies there's not another one i can really recommend or i could say i liked like this show it was pretty cool i guess the ending you could say you know was maybe a little lukewarm mm. but um but did it set it uh, uh, interesting question that's probably without, the proper ending oh interesting without yeah. giving anything away did it set itself up for season two uh or, well, it, that's a good question it's based off of a book and i know wayward pines we mentioned that earlier that was based off of a book as well and they were they expanded so i mean if they're willing to it if it mm. if it does well enough i'd assume everything if they're know. willing to yeah if you in the you know what? I'd actually, I'm, I'm gonna take that back and say they probably will do. A, if they're probably shooting to try to do a season two, it's it's, it's Netflix. Netflix. I don't think <laughs> season two would be good though. I feel like it's one of those shows that would just be, it'd be a great limited series. The way it ended, it could just end. Wow. It, it, yeah. That's interesting. So, I mean, uh, it wouldn't be a bad ending. I wouldn't be mad at it at all. Wow. It's a bold statement. What's the and what's the title of the show again for everyone? Uh, that's the Haunting of Hill House or the Hill, uh, Hill House. I think I believe it's the Haunting of Hill House. Haunting of Hill House. If you type in Hill House on Netflix, you'll definitely one hundred percent. Netflix. 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 <laughs> drop the X. <laughs> you gotta drop. That's that's if you're ever lazy and you're not feeling pronunciation. Netflix. Netflix. Um, <laughs> sounds so, like Nestle. And it really is. Um, so. Boy, Guys, uh, just to round it off on the spooky shows, um, one more we wanted to recommend to you. We just don't have time to talk about it. Uh, X Files is also another one that's not Halloween related, but it's yeah, spooky. but it's just spooky. Yeah, it's just weird. They're yeah. they're they're investigating like weird stuff. Exactly. Uh, and there's uh, like a hundred seasons of it. So yeah. Exactly. So, I mean, I've been watching that show for like two years, like on and off, and uh-huh. kind of, yeah, and I still I'm on like season three. Or, it's, I'm not exactly. very far. Exactly. So we got uh, Twin Peaks Mystery Inc. Uh, we got Stranger Things, Wayward Pines, uh, we got Gravity Falls, X-Files, Family Guy, and, uh, Simpsons Treehouse of Horror, um, and Simpsons then, Treehouse of Horror, I gotta say, is probably the number one thing, if you're gonna take away one thing for, for, I mean, that's, for Halloween specifically, for Halloween specifically that's they the play best it all thing. day, they play yeah. it all day on Halloween, oh, nice, yeah, 
Um, that's cool. That's really cool. Yeah, and then I mean, there's not enough. How, we were saying that earlier. I expected to see a lot more. That's a. I, I think that's a really valid not, point, though. Yeah. If you want a specific Halloween catered show, uh, do yourself a favor, and every Halloween, just you have a whole day of content. Simpsons has been going on since freaking Nom broke off. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, you know, <laughs> anyway. Um, and then, uh, as my good friend mentioned. Uh, the haunt, the ha- the haunting of haunting Hill- of Hill House. I haunting believe. of Hill it's House. It's funny because when you type that in on like IMDb, they'll see uh, there's other haunting of this, the haunting of that, haunting. Of, I believe yeah. when we even looked it up about that house, that uh, San Diego. What was it? I mean, I'm blanking out now. The uh, yeah, the Whaley House. The Whaley House. I believe there was a, a movie. I could be off on this. It could have been another house we were looking at, but I believe there was a movie called The Haunting of Whaley House, which looked like a very low budget. You know, I can't even call it a B movie. It looked like a a C or a, you know, very low, 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 low budget horror movie. Oh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And Which is funny, because another side note, I heard the Mafia, I guess it might have even been from uh, <laughs> Sopranos, that they were getting into that, like, those low-level, oh, like, you know, Mafia slashers that they were putting a lot of money into that. Which, yeah. again, I can't, you know, uh, but it, I believe it was Sopranos, and I think I, there was some other mobster who was, like, in a bit. Or, I, I'm probably just getting this from Sopranos, because there is that, 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 what's it called, the Thrasher one. It makes me wonder if that's true, actually. I'm probably just bullshitting now. It's the thing you get when you when you bring stuff up without you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Anyway. No. 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 That's dude. I totally know where you're coming from. Um. The cast of the cast of uh the haunting of the Hill House or haunting of Hill yeah, House. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, yeah. I believe, it, it's yeah. it's Victoria uh, Pedretti, Violet McGraw, Michael Huseman, uh, Julian Hilliard, uh, Carla Gugino, Gugino, uh, McKenna Grace, and more. So just shout out to all of them. Uh. Haunting of Hill House, you should definitely check it out on Netflix. Yeah, yeah it's you, all, I mean, if you're into this, yeah, and that kind of stuff, something a little different, a little yeah. weird, yeah. So, a little spooky. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And then one last, one last discussion about uh, in within television and movies before uh-huh. we shift off. Yeah. Um. Thirty-one days of Halloween on Netflix. It's a program that they did. Okay. Yeah. Where they did a movie every day of October until Halloween. That was geared. So it was every day they were putting one out. Every day they were releasing a new one. I heard it was a you know big thing. I didn't know it was that. Yeah, they had a calendar, a whole calendar. That's uh, and, crazy. And dude, I just think again, this is another subject that we are going to break down with Crumpler. Um, on the, the Netflix, the whole Netflix. Yeah, the, know, the the, the conundrum. Netflix as a whole. Exactly. And all Net- these the yeah, Netflix. Streaming. Yeah, Hulu, exactly. All of it. Um, but I just think. You know, you you and me were both saying that this is just the reason why Netflix and other streaming services are eclipsing yeah. cable. Yeah. It's just like inconvenient to watch cable and it's convenient to stream. I mean, the fact of the matter is you're putting out 31 days of fresh new content that someone can come home to every day of every the day. month. And if they're, if they're they a want horror it. buff... If they're a Halloween buff, then you're just loving it. Which I'm not. There's, I'm not gonna lie. Of all this, I haven't seen my because a lot of them look like they're a little bit, they're a little, yeah, they're taking it there. Which, but it was everything from Netflix originals uh-huh. to stuff like The Shining. Yeah, like that was what the wild part was. Yeah. And again, yeah, because not... they were bringing um, yeah. So okay, so was that included in the 30 days? They yep. weren't all original. The God, Shining was, I think, the last one. That's why. Okay, that's why I was tripping out a little bit because I was like, if they put out. 30 original then that's like what the hell that'd be wild what's happening what kind of precedent are they trying to set yeah, yeah exactly it's just so okay that makes, actually makes it a, make a lot more sense. yeah how they they're they're, they're just uh, yeah because they're cutting deals to get the licensing on stuff yeah and that inherently makes their business practice easier but at the same time cable companies can you know agree to you know subscription or uh, uh publishing deals with i shouldn't say public trademark deals for replays of movies with yeah. whatever studio, you know, yeah. whether it be Columbia or Miramax or 20th yeah. Century yeah. or Disney. Yeah. That dirty conglomerate. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Shout out to Disney. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, Gravity Not. Falls. <laughs> That's about it. Exactly. And even and that was Disney probably just one executive was like, let's give this a shot. And all the other ones like, dude, you're, you no. Know. And then it became what it is, and we like it. But it's probably just the the work of one or two Disney execs. It's not exactly. It's not uh, reflective of the the Disney exactly group as a whole. So we got to do this one. We got to go briefly into it. The Disney group. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's another Halloween topic. We're going on to the next topic, guys. Oh yeah, the uh... 2016. There was an epidemic of oh, clowns yeah. creeping. 
And by clowns creeping, we mean that there were sightings of clowns kind of pulling the whole Stephen King vibe. Yeah, if you're of, on the internet back then, I mean, you've seen this. You yeah. knew what was yeah, going on. You, you, you heard about this. And we just thought, you know, it was wild. The sole fact that there's a Wikipedia page actually dedicated to this proves the entire point of how big this got. Um, it was happening not only in America and not only in California, but in almost every state in America, including Puerto Rico. Yeah, yeah, even the territory. In Alaska. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, Alaska is a state, but... Yeah. Hey, the Alaska, yeah, definitely. But it was happening in almost every state in, in the Union, as well as Brazil, uh, places in Asia. Mm-hmm. It was how I read stories in Russia. Yeah, a whole the whole world. It seemed yeah. like just for that one year. I mean, I'm sure it's gone on before and since, but and then, it seemed and, to be like a yeah, like and, a real big problem there. For yeah, exactly. And the thing is, months. you know, realistically speaking, realistically speaking, the amount of sightings that there were compared to the amount of actual harm that was done wasn't that bad. I, yeah. But but yeah. there were some stories of some real nasty stuff going on. Um, you know, there was one in California where yeah, guns that were involved. Yeah, yeah, where it was a it was a family was apparently it was some type of purge event. Oh, I saw that it was like a clown. I saw that looking this up. There was way more on that Wikipedia, like you said, that Wikipedia page. Oh yeah. If you yeah, if you guys want to have a, I mean, maybe a good laugh and a good scare. I'll have to say some are kind of funny, some are kind of scary. I mean, absolutely, it's all over the place. It's yeah, you're gonna see everything on that page. Absolutely, yeah. and the thing is thing is it was happening all around Halloween it was happening yeah, in it's October summer a lot. to October exactly yeah. like, literally 2016 yeah, yeah they culminated in October yeah which makes perfect sense when you yeah. think about it I mean um, it's one yeah everyone seems to see that's the thing I mean like uh, with all the cool stuff we're saying about Halloween just, there's always that bad group of that course people get funky around this time of year and dude I, honestly I know this I'm not I'm not a parent or anything I have no authority to be telling yeah. anyone this but there are elements of this that we're saying Halloween is good and fun and it really is but there are aspects of it that people do need to be wary about and I think that parents do need to be responsible in regards to knowing where their kids are going knowing who they're going to be yeah. with you know, especially if they're yeah. at a certain age, like once you get to, unfortunately, as a male too, it, it's a little easier. I'm, I don't mean to be disrespectful. Oh yeah. But once you get to like fourteen, fifteen, you're kind of fine. It, even earlier, you're kind of fine. Yeah, you're not gonna get like kidnapped or anything. I mean, it just, unless it's statistically, by someone you, statistically, yeah. it just doesn't happen. I'm, I'm, unless it's like drug related. I mean, there's very few. Again, like, statistically, it does not happen it just as much. Exactly. Um, but anyway, we're just recommending. We're not saying to be super guarding of your kids. You got to let them experience. But we're also saying to be cool with your kids and know what they're doing and just be cool with them. Like, it's kind of like the anonymity thing too when people have like a mask on. It's kind of like talking shit on the internet. They feel like they can maybe do a little more than they normally would or could. Yeah. With and just, if they're just running around like as themselves, or not as themselves without a mask, you know, without their face covered. Yeah. Hey, hey how about this one? Um, yo, comment on this and t- let us know what age you think it is appropriate to trick or treat until. That, that's one I'm interested to hear what you folks think. Um, I'm sure that that's probably changed a lot over the years. I think it has. That I think it's probably, probably gone this, down. Uh, yeah, it's probably gone. I would say so. Like, what age is good until? But you know I what's mean, crazy? It makes you wonder if it was always as high as it was. Because we used to get some trick or treaters that were like, you know, some teenagers even. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I, I'm a, telling you, I think it's gone down in, yeah. in terms of what age it's okay until to do. Yeah, and then we did. We you saw you were at my house earlier. We didn't get you know. There's it's all young that. bucks. It's like babies. Little kids with their parents, yeah. It's like babies. Uh huh. Yeah. No, literally not like, eh, hey, making fun of little kids, you're babies. It's literal babies. Yeah, it's little kids. Like, don't yeah. know what the hell is Tom going is, on. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Um, That's funny. <laughs> so the clowns creeping is, is, look, it was a 2016 phenomenon. There is some really bad stuff that happened out of it. Um, I actually read this article on Reddit. That was pretty gnarly. And All about, and it was something very similar. It wasn't necessarily. Um, about clowns but it was around the same time of Halloween um, and I believe I don't want to don't quote me for words on this but yeah I threw bad was, information around earlier yeah. so like, 
Then we're throwing bad information. Yeah, throwing bad info around. <laughs> um, but what's it called? Uh, there, there was a gentleman on Reddit who was who d- described this story, and it was not on Reddit. No sleep. It was on an actual thread. Yeah, yeah. Um, of people telling stories, and he said that somehow there was something blocking the road. It was either a tree, or there were stories an that obstacle. this happened because of a baby carriage. That's what someone put a baby carriage in the road, and he was in the middle of nowhere. He was saying he was in. I forgot what state he was in. I wish I had more specificity, but um, I'm not one to call the cops. I wouldn't like call. I'd be like, "Yo, there's a baby carriage on the road. You might want to check that out." I didn't stop because. Oh yeah, that's what you're supposed to. I mean, that's what you're supposed to do. Dude, I yeah, I've I've seen. uh, You get on those weird threads on YouTube. There's I saw one where some guy was going on the highway and some dude tried to stop him. And you could tell it was like funky. It started like reaching and like you know these way. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen. I've seen that. It, one. it was like multiples on that. So it was kind of there was like three that were exactly like that. Yeah. There was one in particular though where it's like that. Thank God that guy dipped. That was. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but so it's yeah, it's just this, not. No, there was. Good like, to help I think people, it was but, a tree trunk. I think it was a tree uh, trunk, and it was blocking the road. And apparently, that's even creepier because you can't just like drag dude, that out, dude. I I am getting goosebumps even as I'm, as I'm saying it. Uh, as I read the story though, it progressed to him. He either got out and had to move it a little. I don't think he did. I think he just had to go super slowly on the embankment. And he saw, like, a group of people emerge from the grass, like, around the bank of the road. Oh, like they were going to try to, like, kill someone or something. Like, it was, like, a cult, like... You know what's crazy about that shit? Either that guy's the wildest, he's got an imagination like a motherfucker, or he went through the one of the scariest things you could ever possibly encounter as a I human think being. Like a group of people trying to. I'm telling something you, something wrong. more happened to where he thought like, one of where the two. it was like he was he saw it like he saw it. That's insane. Like it was like something to where they all had like a weapon. Yeah, that's what trips me out about Reddit. It's one of those places where like. There's so much truth and there's so much bullshit and there's no way to tell. With that though, you know what it was? It was so like truthful that it was either, it was either it happened to him uh-huh. or it happened to his friend and he wanted to say it happened. Yeah, to him. yeah. Because a lot of people. Yeah, because I know. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, yeah, a lot of people do that. So anyway, it was a little too specific to be, you know, like I said, exactly. I, this guy's this guy should be writing novels mm-hmm. or yeah, or that's a true story. Yeah. So the like. We, we covered the clowns creeping in 2016. Yeah, that was... Yeah, thank goodness that's past us. So let's talk candy. <laughs> oh, we yeah. talked a little bit about what's the good candy to get. I mean, yeah, you definitely. talked about the king size. Which is... I feel like if you, like we were saying before, too, if you if you like chocolate, there's a, there's one side of the candy realm. If you like sweet... I, I mean, I know So you're going chocolate sweet. or non-chocolate? I'm non-chocolate. I so like chocolate. I. But if I eat chocolate, I like to eat just straight up chocolate. I'm not... A huge fan of any chocolate. Which is milk chocolate? Butter, exactly. Sorry, yeah, I didn't, I didn't uh, clarify. Yeah, milk chocolate. No, like that's what I mean. I, yeah. Generally, I mean, I'm it's funny. I'm seeing the milk. That's like all that. That's cool. I like all that stuff, but I'm not. If I'm being honest, like usually, I'll just want like regular chocolate. Well, fuck, I mean, yeah. I'm down for a dud. <laughs> I'll take a dud. Hell yeah. Um, Why not, man? I usually don't eat sugar, but yeah, today is the one day of the year. It's Hallow's Eve. Yeah, there's a few days, like birthdays, I'll take a, but you know. Yeah, exactly. I just, on a day-to-day basis, I don't eat sugar. Yeah, that's, and, and that's really worked for you, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. In terms should, of like, like. Yeah, you should get headaches, like, you know, bi-weekly, if I was, you know, lucky yeah. maybe one a month, but. That's really interesting. Yeah, and like when it was bad during the summer, it's weird, the summer months. It'd just be like awful. It'd be getting, you know, that's wild. Headache every day or sometimes. You that's know. wild. Yeah. Screw that. Um, yeah. Thank God. I mean, a lot. I mean, well, it's I, cool that you were able to. I haven't like, done any of the blood tests, but I know just for you know trial and error, I'm sensitive to. Uh, I was just gonna say that's cool that sugar. you figured that out via trial and error. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's one of those things I thought I was gonna have to live with my whole life. Y- yeah. Like, yeah. Getting headaches. Because I know you are like you. You I mean you used to be on deck with the you know. You would have like sour patch kids. Yeah, I can and, and I, I drink soda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loved it. What's funny is when you don't eat sugar, it, it doesn't make you nauseous. You can eat a little bit, but you uh-huh. can't just put like if I ate this whole box of milk duds, my stomach would probably be like not feeling bad or anything, but it wouldn't. It'd be not accepting to more if that makes sense. Interesting. No, that's, that's, that's fair. Good. That's fair. I, I totally see what you mean. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's. I don't. I, we don't really have to do a ranking. But if let's just let let's go non chocolate just because it's yeah. there's so much candy it's yeah. it's so hard to break it down. 
If you're out there, if you're on the streets, getting your yeah. trick-or-treat on. Yeah. Young Buck Wesley, out there. You know, don't you don't have to give me one specific. Just give me, give me like, like you know, the 10, the 10 non-chocolate candies you're really juiced on getting in a pack. All right, so like Skittles, Starburst off top. Easy money. Um, I Like I was saying before, I like when they get, throw like Warheads, something weird like that. I Dude. Just, something out of the loop. Even like Lemonheads. I'll throw Lemonheads. I'll make that a fourth, even though that counts as two. Okay, yeah, no, no, I like that. Okay. Well, they're both heads. Those are, those, that's three. That's three. That's the, the three. three, yeah. You got three. Skittles, Starburst, the heads. <laughs> uh, what else? What I else? I feel about else? Twizzlers. Twizzlers. I like Twizzlers. I'm not. I, I liked Red Vines more, but I think Twizzlers, like you said, those small ones. I don't the know. Small ones taste <laughs> different than the big ones. Yeah, I you know? think so. they're like strawberry or something. Yeah, yeah. and those little packs. Yeah. Uh, and they, they had the two, like lined up. Dude, you made me think about, but nerds. I gotta throw nerds. Oh in my the mix. gosh. Okay, so you got four. So that's a pretty. That's I damn a pretty near have five, but I'm I cheated on the one because I threw heads and airheads. More, and more heads, more yeah. heads. Oh, oh yeah, airheads. Throw hey, throw throw the airheads in there. So that too, was damn a it. special one if yeah. someone had airheads. Throw all three of those in there. So you got five. Um, yeah, there you go. I'll give you. I'll give airheads counts as one. Yeah, I saw the heads, but yeah. No, if I had to throw in another <laughs> one, I'm thinking. I don't think I have a. I don't think I have another one. Uh, maybe. Well, that's a solid five. Yeah, candy canes. No, I'm just kidding. I hate candy. I don't hate candy canes, but maybe the fruity ones. Uh, Jolly Ranchers. There you go. Uh, Done. Jolly Ranchers. That's an honorable mention. I know that was like seven, but <laughs> no, I like. I mean, you, it was. We'll, we'll call it five. We'll yeah, call it five. That was seven, but we'll it was, call it yeah, five. it's five because the heads count as one. Yeah, of course. You know, I mean, they're all very different. One's sour as hell. One's lemony, and then one's like a like a strip of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, like they're all stretchy. Just... Yeah. Certain blobs of sugar in different form. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Sugar in different. Yeah. Willy Wonka's factory is supposed to be some magic thing. It's like it's no different than Taco Bell. They just yeah. figured out new ways to reform a taco. <laughs> yeah. It's how you heat the sugar up, cool it down, and then you get this. You get stretchy business. Exactly. Exactly. So, well, I mean, look for me personally, if I'm going candy, obviously Skittles, Starburst. Yeah. Everyone, everyone who's going non, uh, you know non-chocolate is gonna yeah. have that in their top yeah um i'm a big swedish fish guy oh those are good those, those are i found those to be the same flavor as the red um sour patch without the. they are oh, very similar yeah it's a little different i had these jelly beans oh that, the red flavor was the swedish fish flavor it was oh, absolutely outrageous yeah. yeah absolutely outrageous um my other favorite and this is not really a trick or treating one. Yeah, Haribo. Oh yeah, I mean you can maybe get if you get really lucky, someone have those like, little, little packs. golden bears yeah. packs. Yeah. yeah, that would be like their little crown as a kid. That'd be your little. Ooh. Remember those ones back in the day with the bear on them? It was like a it was a brown wax hey, bear. They're you... gummy bear. It was a brown package with like green <laughs> bottom, and there was the bear sitting down. I wish I could remember what those were called. It was a very popular gummy bear. Tell me though, you wouldn't get those. You wouldn't get those and just. <laughs> but you know, you just it, it would it would be fucking epic. Yeah. Um, and I don't yeah. use that term a lot at all. I cannot remember the name, but yeah, I'm sure most people. Some if you've eaten gummy bears and you're you've had these for sure. Yeah. Yo, so dude, we dropped the candy bomb. It's time to get in to stout season. Ooh, stout season. So okay. this is one Here that we, we yeah. always love to talk Fitting. about. Yeah, exactly. We always love to talk about uh, beer on the Oddcast. San Diego is very famous for its beer. It's famous for not only its quality of beer, but its plethora of different uh, brewers, different uh, techniques. Uh, it kind of popularized the IPA in yeah. a sense. I mean, it yeah. wasn't necessarily started here by any measure, but we definitely, you know, we popular. We helped popularize it. Absolutely. For sure. Absolutely, and so um, some would say we de we single handedly pop. I would say California popular, you know. Oh yeah, no yeah. doubt. It's um, California. Was, yeah, no so, question. You know. It's not even that's not even debate. Because Anchor Steam was a hoppy beer from uh, San Francisco, yes, sir. as you definitely know. Yeah, and um, then there's Pliny, which uh, or sorry, Russian River, which did the Blind Pig, 
which is uh, an IPA. One of the first IPAs, if I'm not mistaken. That's too, right? Exactly. Or Central. It's like San... I'm yeah, Central. Yeah. I mean, technically, Central geographically, Northern. isn't even like San Francisco technically. Central-ish. Yeah. Yeah. It's more Central than, yeah. Yeah. But um, anyway, uh, you know, Stout is... Look, we're not sitting here telling you that it's Stout season... You can only drink stout. We're just saying that in the very beginning, how you were saying higher gravity yeah, beer. Yeah, exactly. Like the triple IPAs, the double IPAs. Is the better for this stout. time of year. Yeah. And when you say higher gravity, can you let people know exactly what that means? High gravity. So they have high gravity. The gravity translates to the alcohol. I'm not sure exactly. In, 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 I'm not sure the exact manner, but the gravity, basically, uh, it's it's how much alcohol is in something. So people, if you hear someone say high gravity, that just means it's strong. Like so a high is, gravity beer is a strong and high I, alcohol beer. I've seen that they do percent of gravity. Does that percent mean? Yeah, see, I think that's what it is. There's, a, no. I think they find the gravity and then they have to do some math and then they can figure out the percentage of alcohol. So the gravity percent doesn't totally, always translate to the actual percent of I should ABV. Be, I'm totally off on this. I, I, I shouldn't say I'm totally off. I could be totally off on this. I should have done some research on that specifically. Uh -huh. That's uh, I believe I believe it's uh, a number they look for, some kind of measurement they look for. And then from there, they can translate how much alcohol is in there. Okay, so it's, it, it is a little different, though. That's, a, that's a, I wish I wish I knew more. I wish I because I I think to find the alcohol percentage you need to do the gravity. Okay, okay. I could be wrong though. Yeah, but yeah, all I'm saying is is the gravity percentage isn't the same always as the oh, alcohol percentage. Oh no, no. Percentage. So it's like six percent gravity. I don't even know if it's a percentage with gravity. I don't. It's like a. I think I've it's read like a, it is it's sometimes. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's they a, do percentages. Oh, okay, I was but it's like not the same as the ABV. See, like I said, I, I I need to I need to figure out more about that. I just always hear people say high gravity in in terms of high alcohol, so I know that's what it is. It's uh -huh. it's the alcohol. Yeah, and basically, I mean, stout yeah. is pretty cool. That's actually a really good question, though. I yeah. Wish, yeah, 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 I wish absolutely. I knew more on that. Yeah. No, but stout is definitely cool. It's 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 generally like a dark beer. Um. Mm -hmm. Number of variations, obviously, from porters. Yeah, they have golden stouts, but those yeah, are, yeah, rare. Exactly. You don't see those. Yeah, much. there's, like, porters. There's golden stouts. There's uh, uh, oatmeal stouts. There's chocolate stouts. Yeah, chocolate, yeah. There's pretty much anything, like, Baltic fruited stouts. stouts. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the Russian stouts, Baltic porters. And I think stouts, basically... Baltic porters, kind of, like we were saying earlier, the, the porters and the stouts are... Yeah, hand it's a very hand. thin, yeah. Yeah, that's clear the, line. That's one of those things that's basically two. gone down in time within brewing as as something uh, that's undefined in terms yeah. of what's what. Yeah, exactly. Um, but the history is that the porter really originated in London in the early 1720s, um, and it, it became very popular. Uh, I believe that it was actually started by a bartender. This is the word on the street, you know. Yeah. The old wives' tale or whatever. Um, that a bartender started by blending kind of uh, old aged ales. Yeah. With, I saw you were saying yeah, yeah, you with, that, yeah. Yeah, exactly. With kind of lighter beers. Um, and it eventually became popular. So I guess that's kind of like the barley wine is like a, like a very strong ale. Exactly, exactly. And the way I understand it. Exactly. I think it's an ale. There's like tons of varieties of stout, um, mm -hmm. whether it's milk stout, which is obviously going to be, uh, you know, a stout containing lactose, uh, which is a sugar derived from milk, obviously. Exactly. <coughs> or, I don't think any of them really put cream or like straight. I think it's usually always yeah, exactly. isolated lactose. Exactly. Yeah. The most, the, but the most widely kind of known and diversified, yeah. not diversified but the widely known stout is obviously going to be a guinness which is a dry stout yeah right? yeah, yeah exactly and that's very drinkable i'd say it's light alcohol or lighter you know in, in body too it's just light it's just yeah, light there's usually what five percent yeah five percent it yeah. just doesn't have like if you closed your eyes you wouldn't even feel like you're it's it's like you know it'd be like watering this down it'd be like 50 50 watering this down this is just there's so much more flavor it's not even yeah. now it's just the there's more going on. I mean, look, I, I'm I'm not here to say to take anything away from anyone, but if I'm recommending a stout to someone, I'm not going to recommend that. It, like you said, I think, I hate to say it, drinking this and then drinking a Guinness, 
the main word that came to light that you said is watered down. Yeah, watered down. It's kind of like when you taste a Bud Light or so, like light, anything light. It always tastes like they just took yeah. the regular one and poured a little water in there. Exactly, yeah. So uh, dry Take stouts are sometimes called also Irish stouts. I Irish stouts, okay, that makes sense, yeah. Yeah. Um, but, um, because, I mean, uh, well, yeah, Guinness is Irish, correct? Or is... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so that, that, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. Because that's the most popular stout in the world, I believe, is Guinness. Exactly. It's so many. I, 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 I these do you, this, but there's many pints are poured of that. It's it's some unreal oh yeah. number. Oh yeah, it's insane. It's, yeah. These do use, I believe, lactose and oatmeal sometimes too. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Um, then there's the por- there's the porter. I know the oatmeal is kind of popular to use to just you know. Oh yeah, oatmeal. It, that's that's the next one coming way to out. Give it, yeah. After the porter. But the porter is, uh, again, the one that there's a lot of disagreement in regards yeah, to whether to what it is. is a porter or a stout, is a stout a porter, are they different, mm-hmm. right? Because What separates them? Yeah, exactly. Historically, it's really funny. There's been uh, a differentiation between like the extra, yeah, uh, like the extra dark and strong um, being stout. Yeah. But is that just the word stout? <laughs> yeah, no, it's funny because, yeah, like you said, it's become, I think of stout as being exactly this, like a dark, sweet beer. And you were also saying... Not always uh, super sweet, but definitely on more more than a... What, that's, that's what's funny is because when they call it a porter, there's it's not... It's, it's, there's some weird distinction I have in my head, and a lot of people do, but I don't know. You were saying something about the smokiness earlier. Uh, yeah, there's some yeah smoked porters. You hear about that, but you just never hear about a smoked stout, so... It's really weird. This is something that's kind of interesting, and it, I just I don't have a whole lot of brewing knowledge, uh-huh. like of like the hard you know the ins and outs of actually brewing. Yeah, so I can't say. I can't say. It's just weird. It's a, Ooh, yeah. it's a weird one. <laughs> yeah, the next one I, is an oatmeal stout. Okay, yeah, and that's yeah, that's what we're drinking now. That's, that's what we're drinking now, and the oatmeal stout obviously is they use a min, uh, excuse me, a maximum proportion of. 30% oatmeal That's what you're saying, yeah. To, it to, used to, to be to 35. To, to 30, uh, do they use it with the grain? Is that what they were saying? I they, think yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Exactly, yeah. So that, that's that to create is, the mash. Or, yeah, the mash or the wort. Exactly. The wort, exactly. Yeah. Um, and again, the wort is, guys, that's the uh, product before fermentation, correct? Exactly, that's like the goop before they pitch the yeast in there. Exactly, and we talked about that in the uh, uh-huh. episode where we discussed sours. Um, oh, another thing to say about stouts in general is just if you 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 if you buy a stout, you're gonna want to try to get a barrel aged one. Go out, you know, if you can go and out. Why is way. that? It's just they're gonna it's gonna taste so much better. Like this this one we had here is a, they took their base stout. What uh, I forgot what it was called, um, Dark Star, and they put it in bourbon barrel. So I haven't had the Dark Star by itself. I I can tell you though without a doubt that it's not anywhere on the level it just it, it, it just sets it's um what well, i'm trying to think of a good example it's kind of like people say with bacon you know, there's certain things make bacon makes everything better they say it's kind of like bourbon barrel is like the bacon of, <laughs> of alcohol of, of 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 stouts i should say because you can no one wants like a bourbon barrel aged like sour or something no, like no. that yeah that's true um and you said sometimes they barrel age these for even a year. Oh yeah, this one's twelve months old. Actually, I don't know. I'm, just, I'm putting. Uh, but either way, um, putting words on this beer. So there's. Yeah, this... no, definitely there. Uh, okay, so here we here we go. I can read it off the bottle Beautiful. here. This year's release is a blend of twenty four, so two year, eighteen months, so year and a half, twelve and eight month bourbon barrel aged dark star. Jeez. In seven to twelve year old Kentucky bourbon barrel. So that means those barrels had uh, whiskey in them for seven to twelve years before. They wow. put the beer in them. So, th- yeah, it's just, I, there's a lot of work and there's a lot of real estate and, you know, like they, they basically put the beer in these, bot- or in the uh, the beer in the barrels and let it just hang out. That's why it's that, you know, there's a lot of uh, a lot of time and a lot of love that has to go into A lot that. of yeah. love in yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, so the last, the last one that I really want to explore, there's obviously chocolate style too, which, yeah. yes. It's chocolate. It yeah, they chocolate add cacao chocolate. Yeah, they yeah. add cacao chocolate in it. And they have a malt that has been that, roasted uh, or kindled until it really gets a chocolatey color. That's how they achieve that. Have you seen some raspberry stouts where they'll throw in some like, yeah. fruit? I tend to not, you know, those are okay. but The fruity good. stouts, yeah. Exactly. The the one that I really wanted to um, just lastly highlight was the, uh, the oyster stout. Oh, yeah, which is very interesting. Which you've actually tried. I, I only tried, tried it. Uh, yeah, from it was a brewery called, um, what were they called? I should know their name. They're in Orange County. 
Been there. The uh, Gunwale. Yeah, Gunwale. Yeah, Gunwale. Uh, been there a couple times. Shout they, out to Gunwale. Yeah, shout out to Gunwale. They they have uh, nautical theme, kind of like Ballast Point, way more low key. That's cool as hell. And they uh, they they do one called the Shellmaker, which I believe Shellmaker. Yeah, which is the oyster stout. Yeah, they've had a long association with stout oysters actually. And it's not like you think. I know what you're thinking. Like it's like slurping into an oyster, but it's not that at all. You it's know, not it's not briny yeah. or anything. No, no. Yeah. It's almost not as uh, it wasn't as pronounced as I wanted it to be. So. Oh yeah, no. Apparently they're only made now with like a handful of oysters uh-huh. in the barrel. It's really not as prominent as That you actually makes thought. a lot of sense because they would have to um, pasteurize it or something so people didn't get sick. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And the last and final stout, which we're not going to really go into, is the uh, Imperial Stout or Russian Stout. Which is ba- that's actually what we're drinking here, too. Could uh, I mean, it doesn't say Imperial, but it's this is a 13% beer, so... Exactly. Um, it's 13.6%, so, I mean, that's... Dude. That's up there. So, look, we're on our last subject. Yeah, we're on Fetty, huh? We're talking Fetty, folks. Um, look, Fetty is an album that dropped today. Or, excuse yeah, me. today at well, midnight. Today at midnight. Um, midnight on Halloween. Yeah, midnight. So nine, nine, 9 o'clock uh, Western, 12 Eastern. Exactly. It's starring Freddie Gibbs, and it's starring Currency, mm-hmm. Spitta, Gangsta Gibbs. Uh, shout out to both Jet Life Records and ESGN. Yeah. And Alchemist for and and Al Alan and the Chemist, yeah. The, the um, Alchemist, if you know hip hop, you know Alchemist. I mean, he's produced records, a lot of uh, what people would say some of all time hip hop. Absolutely, know, records, yeah. oh yeah, without a doubt. Um, a lot of East Coast stuff. Look, a lot of West Coast stuff. A lot of for all you folks out there, just listen real quick. You do not need to like rap to like this album. You do not. You just have to like music and like good vibes. Uh, You were saying earlier, Dan, uh, in regards to just the mixing and the beats, I mean, and the vibe that Alchemist put out. Yeah, so one thing I picked up, yeah, just I like kind of tried to dissect it a little bit. I was like, what's making... Because I I knew that there was something that I was noticing subconsciously that was making his beats different. And I was like, okay, I'm going to try to figure this out. So I was listening to it one day, uh-huh. and I realized the way he mixes his beat, it's uh, it's it's very hip-hop. It sounds more hip-hop than kind of this new, you know, futuristic trap music, trap, whatever, you know, what you want to call it. Um, it sounds more... It, it's definitely more hip-hop than that, but it has a unique almost more organic sound why the people people say that hip hop music has no soul and yeah. the same this he found a way because he'll what he'll do is he'll go and get a bass line from this song and then he'll go get you know start chopping something from another record and then he'll find a snare from somewhere and then he'll try he'll just combine like three different samples from you know you know different <coughs> uh, artists even different records and then make them into one song and what he, he doesn't do is he doesn't manipulate the sound too much so it's each every every track kind of has the sound of when you listen to like a um i don't want to say rolling stones but kind of like uh it's like the more traditional classic rock it has more of a classic rock mix like the the one thing you'll, you'll hear is like in in new uh modern hip-hop the snare is very loud that you know hi-hats are like the like that clicky you know crap it's like all it's very it's over the beat with him it's all it, it sounds it's it's more put together i actually i want to say put more put together it's more put together if you're in like a if you're into traditional music like uh, yeah. instrumental music i should say not synths and all that you know oh, yeah, this new stuff which i love too but it's just refreshing to hear he i he's not no one else is doing this yeah so. yeah no and that's just the beats and i'm just talking about beats here <laughs> yeah well, yeah. Then, then I mean, inevitably after the beats, we got to get into because I, look, I, I have nothing to add. That's that's a great breakdown, yeah. of Alchemist. I, and all due respect uh, to your opinion and also his prowess as a oh, producer yeah. and beat maker. Um, but the next thing we have to talk about is, look, Freddie and Currency's performance on that track, on all those tracks, was insane. Um, they would make a really great duo in yeah, the rap game. Yeah. Uh, like, I agree. I, everyone always talks about like, I'll oh, bring groups back. I mean, we could just bring duos back. That'd be dope. Yeah. Uh, the one thing I especially really, one like that where it, they could each continue their solo career. And exactly. Easily do exactly. With that, yeah. because straight up, look at look at this. I mean, uh, I'll tell you this. I'm not saying 
that Freddy needs to be sunned. That's not my point at all. This is not my point. Yeah. But one thing that I do find is that Freddy, when he raps with people like Currency, 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 um, when he raps with, with, with people like Currency, when people like Nipsey, when people like with people like Big Crit, uh, with people like Dom Kennedy. Oh yeah. He tends to do his what he's capable of, in my opinion. I, I don't yeah. mean to be disrespectful to his other art, because if he thinks that's viable, and 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 it is, because it's getting follows and it's it's made him a bigger rapper. Yeah. I appreciate that, but when he raps with cats like Currency and again, all those people I just list uh, mentioned, he goes back to his mixtape Freddy and. It's mixtape Freddy is yeah, because he kind dangerously of, good. Yeah, he fell into um, I shouldn't say fell into, but he, he his style most definitely changed from when you listen to his old stuff. You know, um, listening to it now, which is you know, it's like always going to be a natural progression, but of course, there's a lot of people that he's 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 definitely he came from. I mean, picked up a lot of new. If you li- you could listen to an old song and a new song and not necessarily know it's the same guy, but that's what's like yeah. like you said it, with this CD you could listen to his old stuff next to any of these songs and I, I think that they'd seem and I feel like that's so a, it's back what to a lot of people like us wanted we wanted exactly to like and this. I think that's a benefit from rapping alongside good people like yeah. Currency yeah um, ultimately that's that's so fire ultimately yeah that's amazing yeah. ultimately thank you so much for bringing that oh yeah of course. Um, Ultimately, Perfect I think day to have it, man. Perfect that day. Fetty is about a nine out of ten. I agree. I mean, if I'll not, listen to it through once and it exactly yeah, that's if one not those ones, if yeah. not higher. Um, ultimately, I know we both wish nothing but the best for both, for both currency parties. and Frederick moving forward. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good old Frederick. But I don't mean to say any of that to criticize Freddie Gibbs at all. He's one of my favorite rappers. Oh, no, I agree, too. I just felt like he went from rapping, like, similar to, like, I, this. I know this is a big comparison, rapping similar to, like, Tupac to kind of... A lot of, of people, that was the number one comparison you heard. Yeah. To, from the, you know... Exactly, to getting into, like, overly kind of trapped out. And, and I'm not saying that it doesn't have his merit. I, it, it, for people that like that, I'm not criticizing your taste at all. Yeah. I'm just saying, I felt that... His potential is better suited in rapping yeah. in the more Tupac esque style. Yeah, exactly. It's, uh, it's, it, which is interesting because his, his, the when he's changed his style, he uh, got infinitely more popular. Like people, you know, yeah. Which you, is it really begs the question: What's the you know, what's the deal? What's what? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's the thing to do? What's the right move? So, shit, we got weird. We broke it down. We did it up, and now it's time for the 10 quick fire questions. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We've gotten to the end of our program. I think we broke it down pretty yeah. heavy. Yeah. We nailed everything. Yeah, we hit all the all the bases. Exactly. Uh, I'd like to clarify, though, that I didn't mean that fucking, that low budget uh, horror, I was, I got lost in the Sopranos. I do feel like I've heard there was kind of some shady money going into B-movies, but I don't have anything, you know, I don't think it was, you know, necessarily mafia. That I think that was all just the Sopranos being... There's no way that came out of nowhere. Yeah, it's kind of like a lot of things in that show, yeah. Hey, that's what, that'll be one we could verify. Oh, exactly, yeah. We could verify. It, yeah, man, look, that's it's, always, always it's, cool. You should, yeah, that'd be a good segment, man. To exactly. Tapping into things like that for people like me who just say things without looking into them. And yeah, no, I'm telling you, look, there, there's going to be, I, I, there's going to be a next, there's going to be a next one. Yeah. Try to immediately uh, pull it back. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, it's look. I definitely, uh, I pulled that back, and uh, yeah, that's all <laughs> you can do when you say something like this. Oh, that was uh, that was not where I uh. That's not what I was thinking. That's not where I was thinking that I was going to go. Oh, <laughs> Didn't fully think it through. It's kind of like when you think, uh, say something without thinking it through. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what happened. I can't say it's kind of, that's def- That's exactly what happened. Yeah. yeah. Well. But anyways, yeah, none- nonetheless, just wanted to clarify there. Hey. Yeah. So, no one looks at like, oh, this idiot. This, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. It's all love. We're getting into the 10 quick fire odd questions of the episode look I gotta run you through the rules real quick 
The rules are there's no time limit, but you gotta go fast. Yeah. There's no yeah. prize at the end. They don't mean shit. shit. You yeah. get nothing. nothing. You get fucking nothing. And like it. And you'll like it too, Spalding. damn it. So, <laughs> are you ready? Well, Caddy Shack reference. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get it. Let's do it. Guys, let's start the damn clock. You got one for the rest of your life. Skittles or Starburst? Skittles. Skittles. Cops or robbers? Robbers. <laughs> Favorite streaming service? Ooh, that's a toughie. Um, yikes. Mm, HBO. HBO, I like it. If aliens exist, this is if they exist. Are yeah. they smarter or dumber than us? Some smarter, some dumber. Ooh, you know what? I like the hedge. <laughs> Burgers or tacos? Burgers, sadly. Boygas. It's the American in me. <laughs> it's the American in him. <laughs> Favorite movie character. Oh, yikes. That is deep. Uh, off top one I can say that I'm liking right now, Danny Ocean. Danny Ocean. Beautiful. Great, great character. So if you are Harry Potter and you get one sidekick from the whole series, all of Hogwarts, you could even pick, you know, Sirius Black. Who are you picking? Harry Potter. The whole you're Harry Potter. You get one sidekick to run with your crew. Oh, who are you oh running my with? My goodness. Holy good Dumbledore. I figured. You know second. what? I figured took that a second, would be up there. I was about to say Ron, but I just that was because I wasn't. You know. What's the favorite ha- like Halloween that. costume that you've ever worn? Mask. The mask. Oh, you've told me about that. Yeah. Too bad it's quick fire. Yeah. All right. Scariest horror character. saying earlier Chucky. Chucky. <laughs> it's gotta be fuck that thing. Cody Warden is Chucky. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Get that thing out of my house. No, <laughs> so this is the tenth question. If you had a yacht, what would you name it? Oh god. SS. SS something clever. Woo! <laughs> I was about to hey. say SS something clever as like a joke, but that would be kind of a pun on like the, you know. Yeah, yeah. Listen, 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 listen. I like that. Hey, I think it's fine. Yeah, we just named my yacht. We named it. SS something clever. <laughs> hey, just because you did so damn good, we have a bonus one for oh, you. Oh, bonus round. We were talking about how traditional Halloween candy isn't the greatest. What's uh-huh. your favorite of the traditional? Ooh, probably candy corn. Uh, yeah. You know, Even though I don't like it, you can eat like a couple of those, but it's too sweet. If they pull back some of the sugar, <laughs> it's just, I guess that's what it is. It's all it's, sugar. It's just it like, oh, we're going to take some white sugar and then put it up next to some yellow sugar and then some orange sugar. It, They'll never know the difference. Oh, God. <laughs> well, look, that was an excellent episode. Oh, yeah. The Halloween special, man. The Halloween that was, special. That, was that concludes our episode, guys. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your time, whether you're watching this morning, this afternoon, tonight, whenever. Thank you so much for tuning in again. Thank you for your time. Shout out to you and yours. Um, You know what? Thank you for tuning in to the Oddcast, where stuff that's odd gets the nod. And look, we got to shout it out one last time. Look, Dan, thank you so much for coming in. Dan, oh, yeah, of course. Shout out to the fans. Tell them if you got what what's the word going on moving forward. Tell them a little bit, the, you know, look forward to Connoisseurs yeah, Club. This heat. I'm about to drop some heat on. I'm about <laughs> to put the visor yeah, down. Exactly. So just just shout out to yeah. So yeah, Connoisseur Club, idea I've had for uh, some clothing. I've been throwing around some ideas, you know, you know, it, you know, making them, not printing shirts, but have a fair amount that I have printed. Kind of, you know, just trying to get that more legit LLC. No, maybe not LLC. Get the, you know, get all the protection. What do they call it? the copyrights? You know, the the ins yes, and outs. Just got to get that going. And uh, yeah, and it's basically for all you know, anyone who you know likes you know high quality and anything they do, whether or not that's beer, food, you know, family, anything. Absolutely. Yeah. And I mean, that's why we're friends because candy. We, it's quality over quantity. Movies, anything. You can be a connoisseur in damn near anything. <laughs> exactly. So. Hey. Of damn near anything, sorry. Guys, shout outs from both me and Dan. 
Uh, you can find him on Connoisseur Club President. Yeah, Connoisseur the Club Conno- Club. Yep. The Connoisseur Club President. The president on uh, Instagram. We'll yeah, put picture the link page. On. Yeah, all You'll kinds see of it. stuff. Um, appreciate your time. Funny stuff. Hey, and happy Halloween. Let's walk it on out. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's get a little weird. Let's get a little loud. Those sounds you like to hear. We got it going on. It's the Oddcast. It's the Oddcast. It's the Oddcast. It's the Oddcast. It's the Oddcast.